How to find high probability intraday trading opportunities. Again, my name is Don Kaufman, and you are watching a Theo Trade presentation. Now, we throw up a risk disclosure because we're not financial advisors nor a broker dealer. I did spend about 15 years in the brokerage side of the business, but I uh, hung it up and uh, talk about that here momentarily and how we got uh, kind of involved in Theo Trade. This is a copyright disclaimer. It's mine, not yours. You know what? The other thing I like everybody to know right now, this is how you get a hold of me. And you can get a hold of me uh, after this evening. Obviously, our office is located in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, nevertheless, though, the easiest way to get a hold of me is right there. Support at Theotrade.com. So we use a common inbox. All you have to do is put Don in the uh, in the title of the email, and that thing will actually get shot right to me. So support at Theotrade.com. If you need anything, okay, go to support at Theotrade.com. We get literally hundreds and hundreds of emails every single day. It's, it's okay with us. It's all right. You know, we're used to it by now. And we actually encourage you to interact with us. And we'll talk a little bit about that as the, uh, as the evening wears on here. Um, <clears throat> let's get down to business. Let's, let's start to talk a little bit about, uh, well, presentation tonight. First and foremost, I'm probably going to go over a little over an hour tonight. Hope that's all right with everybody. As I was uh, putting together this presentation, <clears throat> uh, you know, yesterday and today, I added quite a number of slides to this, so I intend to go probably closer to like 90 minutes or so, and uh, and then I'm going to answer some questions. So uh, I hope everybody uh, sit down, tune in, turn on, because here we go. Listen, this in large part is why you're here. One thing I will always say, if you're going to come to one of these webcasts here at Theotrade, and some of you, this is the very first experience you've had at Theo Trade, by the way, admitting it is the first step tonight. How many of you, this is the very first time you've ever come out, ever heard anything from Theo Trade? You could just put a Y or an N, yes or no, in the um, into the uh, into the chat room over there, because again, there's quite a quite a lot of people that are okay, excellent. So uh, wow, a lot of answers in here, a lot of brand new people, which you're going to be in, <laughs> you're all in very big trouble right now. I've had a lot of caffeine tonight. You're all in big, big trouble. Um, so welcome if you're brand new. I hope everybody's all right, because you're about to get thrown in the deep end of the pool. I'm not, uh, I am holding anything back tonight. Listen, you come out to one of these webcasts, you're going to spend an hour, you're going to spend 90 minutes. I'm going to tell you right now, okay, you need to walk away with knowledge that you did not previously had, period. OK, what we do here at Theotrade is vastly different than a lot of other places, a lot of other stuff. Maybe you've heard we actually do trade very, very actively at times. And tonight we are going to talk a bit about intraday setups. Now, everybody here needs to walk away with something definitive and it's going to vary depending upon experience. And that's what I'm going to drill down to as we get off and rolling here. First and foremost, one of the top, you know, topics, obviously how to generate very high probability outcomes with intraday trading setups. This, it's not going to be what you think it is. Okay. We're going to talk about high probability outcomes and in intraday setups. Number two, how to select, okay, the right options. I said the O word. We are going to talk a little bit about options. I am not here, okay, to force options down anybody's throat. And I always say that because... I trade options, I trade stocks, I trade futures, I trade currency products. Listen, I'm an equal opportunity trader. I will buy and sell anything as long as it's fair value on both sides of it, meaning it's a liquid product. So I am going to have a little bit of a discussion of options this evening. I hope that's all right with everybody. Number three, how hey, you can be right less than 50% of the time uh, and still receive consistent trading results. This is critical. I mean, this is going to be one of the mantras of this evening's presentation. We are going to talk about, okay, this 50-50. And if you set up the trade correctly, forget about, forget about what you think about the market. The trade itself will actually help you in terms of profitability. Why intraday trading does not mean you need to be glued to your screen all day. I'm actually going to show you my trades. I like to show people trades that I've done, trades that I'm going to do, trades I'm thinking about doing. But we're actually going to show you these are going to be very hands-off intraday strategies. And number five, how to circumnavigate day trading margin restrictions. <laughs> this is always a fun one. Uh, for those of you that don't know this, 
I did spend 15 years in the brokerage world. I know a little bit about day trading margin restriction. So let me uh, let me let me wait and get to that part a little bit later. All right. For those of you that are tuned in um, for the entire evening, we are going to give you this evening and you have to stay with me right to the end of the webcast. We're going to give you this evening a indicator that I use constantly intraday, just bottom line. I use this all day, every day. I'm always looking at it. And there's something that I always tell people like when they come to the webcast here at Theo trade is that, listen, it doesn't do you any good. If I talk about a particular indicator and then at the end of it, I'm like, Oh, you know, you have to buy the indicator. We give you the indicator. We give you the indicator, first of all, because that's what we're going to be discussing tonight. We want you to see the indicator. Okay. We want you to use the indicator. Um, this indicator for me is absolutely phenomenal. It's $497 value. It's accumulative ticks. Okay. And quad indicator. And, you know, just showing you it's cumulative ticks provide a running tabulation of New York stock exchange tick and can provide leading edge insight towards shift in market direction. Reading through this doesn't do it justice. Listen, at the very end of tonight's webcast, I will give you a link. Okay. That link will allow you to download this particular cumulative ticks and quad indicator. What is it? Well, this is what it is. So up here on the, uh, on the top. Okay. And when I say on the top, right up here, you have a tick, you have the advanced decline line. Okay. Then you actually have, again, low advanced decline line, high advanced decline line. You have breath. Okay. Then you actually have colors. So what this colors is if all, okay. If all four of these indicators is actually okay to the upside, it'll actually color blue. All right. If all four of the indicators are actually drifting to the downside, it comes up with a yellow. That is only a very small portion of the indicator. The real value of this indicator, um, and this is an indicator uh, that I actually helped code, is right down below. This is, okay, comparative Quantix. So it's TheoTrade comparative Quantix. And what it does is it keeps a running tabulation of ticks. And some people are not familiar with ticks. It's up ticks and down ticks in the New York Stock Exchange. But we don't just do it on the New York Stock Exchange. We do it on the Russell. We do it on the NASDAQ. We do it on the S&Ps. It gives comparative tick analysis and can actually show you okay, a break to the upside or a break to the downside in the marketplace. It's a leading edge indicator. You guys will love it. And I use it, again, incessantly on intraday trade. Um, it is a very quantitative tool. And I want to make that clear. This is not a technical analysis type indicator. It's a quantitative tool, meaning it's actually tabulating for you uh, ticks. It's a running tabulation throughout the course of the day. So I just wanted to throw that out there again. Uh, stick with us right to the end of the webcast. It's yours. And uh, again, it's $497 value. It's worthwhile. The reason we give it to you, not only do you stay tuned into the webcast, but the reason we give it to you is because I use it specifically for intraday trade. And I'm going to discuss it tonight. So uh, with that, a little housekeeping item here. Listen, tonight, tonight, this is uh, this is going to go a little deep. You got to pay attention. Like some of the stuff I'm going to talk about tonight. There's times where I'm going to fire a little high. I hope that's okay with everybody. So uh, keep your helmets on, people. We're going to get uh, we're going to get a little serious tonight. Shut the doors, turn off Skype, chat, whatever else might be distracting you. Okay. I mean, come on. What is there? There's a baseball game on there. The noise in the background's fake. You don't need to watch it. <laughs> it's terrible, by the way. I can't get into sports right now. Close Facebook. Phones on silent mode. Kick out the kids. Come on. Definitely kick them out. They can't go anywhere, but kick them out anyway. Grandkids, the dog can stay. Listen, you took the time to be here. This stuff's important. Focus on being here, especially what I'm going to get to here momentarily. This is a little bit about me. So very large part, I watched order flow for 15 years, and that's why I'm here. And it's a kind of a unique skill set. Very few people know what that kind of means and entails, like watching order flow. But I'll give you a little background on myself because so many people were brand new. So I actually grew up, literally grew up around traders, and I started trading in the late uh, 1990s. And when I say I grew up around traders, I had an uncle that was a market maker in the uh, in the mid 70s and he started with one one seat at the Chicago Board Options Exchange in 76 by 83 1983 
He owned 500 seats on exchanges worldwide. And at the time, he had built what was the most powerful trading firm on the planet. Uh, it was called O'Connor and Associates. O'Connor eventually sold to the Swiss bank in 92. But having grown up around this, I spent a lot of time with them. Having grown up around it, I was always interested in it. I never did a degree in finance, anything like that. I was actually planning to go to a medical school of all things. Three weeks out of college, I uh, got a call from a cousin. He said, listen, you know, we're, we're down a runner in Chicago. You should come check this out. I know you just got out of school. It'd be like a fun, fun summer to spend in Chicago. I hopped on a plane that day. Literally, they're like, don't worry about it, man. We got it. We'll pay for it. We need you tomorrow morning. Hopped on a plane that day and uh, I didn't leave. So I started uh, making markets again in uh, 98. In fact, right after I started was the entire uh, long-term capital management debacle of 98. That was only about six weeks after I started. And uh, only about uh, ooh, close to three years after that, I, I knew some guys on the trading floor and they started a, a brokerage firm. And I was... I had no idea what it was going to be, but they had a name. That's all it had, too, by the way. The name was Think or Swim. And I was like, you know, I, I really, I, w I hit it off with these guys from the get-go. And I went to work for them in 2001 at the, uh, at the ripe old age of, uh, of 23. Uh, I went on to build the entire education division of Think or Swim. I was on the executive team when we took them public in 2007. Um, then in, uh, 2009, we were purchased by TD Ameritrade. So I went on to actually run education for TD Ameritrade from roughly when they acquired us in 2009, uh, the deal closed in 2010. And I, I went and ran education for five years for over 7 million clients at TD Ameritrade. And that's what brought me to saying, you know, I, I understand order flow. I watched order flow for 15 years. Order flow, it's, I had access to everything you did. I had access to people's trades and we studied, okay? And what made, what made our education phenomenal is that we were studying what our clientele were doing like nobody else ever did. <clears throat> In 2015, I exited TD Ameritrade. Uh, again, it's almost a, almost a 15 year run that I had there. So I exited TD Ameritrade to ultimately to build Theotrade. And I did it in very large part because what was going on is regulators were not allowing us, okay, to use what we knew, okay, ultimately in the education side of it. So I said, fine, I am out. I am out. I don't want to hear about any more regulators anymore. I'm actually going to teach people, okay, what we know about retail trades. And in large part, what you're going to hear about tonight, it's going to come from what we learned watching billions and others' mistakes. And literally the knowledge of what works best for retail traders. And it doesn't matter what works best for market makers. This is all about what works best for you. Okay. Because we studied and we spent millions of dollars in research. Okay. On what works best for retail traders. And uh, that's, again, a very large part. A little bit about my background. I do a couple of TV appearances. I still do about a TV appearance a week. This is actually the last time. I was uh, I was in Chicago. This is uh, last year, almost almost last year to the uh, to the day uh, we were in Chicago and I was in studio and obviously nobody's going in studio right now. I just did uh, broadcast though yesterday from um, from my residence here. This is a uh, CNBC. This one's about uh, five years old, but it was one of the more memorable ones because they pitted myself against uh, Kevin O'Leary, the shark. And uh, yeah, listen, we're going through an incredibly difficult time. Okay. But in all this chaos, you got to remember one, one key component about markets. Volatility is a very good thing. If anybody here understands anything about volatility, okay, anybody understands anything about volatility, you'll know this, okay? The volatility has remained relatively high. It has. So the volatility has remained relatively high even in the last couple of months when the marketplace is rallying. And I want you to remember, like, volatility is a really, really good thing. And I just wanted to kick that off because, you know, there's a lot of people coming from all different walks of life. A lot of people have been tied up in their home for a very substantial period of time. There's a gentleman we were just uh, talking about a moment ago. He's coming in from Australia. They just went back under quarantine there. Okay, listen, you know, focus on one aspect of this. You got more time 
than you probably ever had in your life. Even if you're working from home, okay, the kids are there, hide in your office, trade people, okay? Listen, I'm not the only one saying that, and I wanted to show you this. This is, uh, this is actually, I, again, I find this awe-inspiring. You want to know what's driving the marketplace right now? It is not a bunch of people over at Robinhood, you know, this brokerage firm. This happens to be the trade metrics from TD Ameritrade, okay? And again, I worked there until 2015. And this is, um, this is like June of 2019, July of 2019. They were doing, and I just want to show you what this means. They were doing 791,000 trades a day last year, okay? Actually, in August, which is precisely a year ago, they had jumped to almost what? 900,000 trades a day. Now, commissions went free right there. And when commissions went free, the trades, they jumped, but not that much. And the brokerage firms are kind of shocked. They're like, oh, we, we, gave, we, we gave free commissions and it's, it's not going that well. Even by January, they're only doing about 1.5 million trades a day. Yeah, how about this? Lock people up in their home for a couple of months. What do you got? It's exploding out there, people. Right now, we're at approximately 3.8 million trades a day. That's what that means. Average trades a day. It's called darts. 3.8 million. Do you realize how insane that number happens to be? Okay. Like nobody ever dreamed of that. And I was there in 2015 on an executive team. We were talking about in 2015, we we're talking about by 2020, we want to be at a million trades a day. Yeah, they're almost at 4 million. They're actually, they're hitting days that's clear over 4 million. And the reason I point this out, because you got to realize this is all about volatility, okay? This is a retail-driven marketplace. It doesn't matter what you think about professionals. You need to stop listening to all the crap out there, you know, from even, even some of the best of the best, okay? Because right now, they're not engaged. You know who's engaged? You. This says it right here. This is you. This is almost 4 million trades a day. Listen, this, this is it, people. This is the time. Volatility is your opportunity. Now, as I jump into this, I want to show you what's possible in the extreme. Volatility, as I said, is a very good thing. So what I did to kick off tonight's presentation is I wanted to show you three, okay, just separate time periods. First of all, the screenshot that you are looking at right now is from a platform called TOS, which stands for Thinkorswim. Not everybody tonight needs to be on Thinkorswim. It's fine. If you're at E-Trade, great. One of my closest friends, she runs E-Trade. If you're, you know, if you're at, you know, Tastyworks, fantastic. Literally, some of my closest friends run Tastyworks. It's a very small universe right now, right? E-Trade's about to be Morgan Stanley, okay? Think or Swim, which is owned by TD Ameritrade, is about to be Charles Schwab, and we got friends there. I mean, you name it. This brokerage business is a small business. Nevertheless, I wanted to show you uh, a screenshot here and what you're looking at on the screenshot and this is from thinkorswim here is the exact date okay and this is what we call a five day net lick all right net liquidating value if i liquidated everything in my account this is back again in uh february uh 23rd the account was worth two hundred and eleven thousand dollars okay by the end of that week it was worth 248 this is actually where the volatility literally this week is where it started to kick in so then i decided to take a screenshot Okay, precisely a month after that. A month after that, it's the exact same account. By the way, the account that we're talking about right now is an IRA. This is not a margin account. This is an IRA, all right? So this is a retirement account. Exactly a month from there, okay? Here is what, 320 all the way to 324. The account was at 305, okay? Jump to 308. Then I fast forward, because I can only really fit three screenshots in there. I fast forward. And I fast forward and what I did is basically the end of July. Okay. So the end of July, the account was at uh, 392 and change. Okay. I ended up the week eh, for the most part, massively unchanged. I think that goes actually to like last Tuesday. Okay. This is a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, a Monday, a Tuesday. I took the screenshot like on a Tuesday, which is a little bit obscure, but the, um, the week, the week at large was rather flat last week, but I wanted you to see what's possible in the extreme. And I started with some account values, the types of trades, the types of trades that got me there were absolutely and predominantly option trades. Now, okay. These are 
risk twist spreads. I just want to point something out real quick about this. And the only reason I'm taking you through these, get used to looking at this. This is a trade execution. That's the exact time and date. It's an opening trade, a closing trade, the product that we traded, right? The exact options that we traded and the debit and the credit. In this particular trade, this is an XLU risk twist spread. Every $96 I invested. So that literally means every $96 I invested, I got back $1,272. The risk twist spread is a grand slam home run type strategy. But I've also, I could have done $960 to produce, you know, $12,720. So I wanted to start off with just getting you comfortable looking at trade executions. Here's another one. This is an XLE back spread. By the way, the previous one, that one was a couple of months ago. I want to show you tonight recent trades, June stuff, July stuff. Here's actually a June trade opened on June uh, 2nd, closed on June 5th. This one's put on for a five set debit, closed it for a dollar 35 credit. And again, a percentage base is absolutely phenomenal. That's a type of a back spread. This is not, this is not intraday trade. These are trades that have obviously been held for a few days. This is a TLT back spread. So this is put on June 5th, taken off June 11th. Okay, it was put on for a 25 cent credit, taken off for a $2.10 credit. All right, and by the way, all of these trades are done in front of our clientele. So you can see the exact time over here on 611. I executed out at 210, Sandra filled at $1.97 credit. Okay, YRB filled at 201 for a credit. Uh, Rocco just killed it. This guy actually, this one's from a different day. But this gentleman actually held and held and held a separate trade in there. This is actually a Microsoft back spread. Again, I'm just trying to bring up trades that are a little bit more recent. Obviously, some of the um, some of the uh, the June trades are all closed. The July trades are still coming. You know, there's some July trades coming to fruition. And we're obviously rolling a lot into August right now. But um, in the uh, in the Microsoft back spread here, this is done for a 76 cent credit closed for a five dollar and 40 cent credit. Right. And again, we're getting even more recent here. John sold that for uh, 550. And again, if you look at my prices, I got out at 540. He got out at 550. Omar filled at 587. OK, wiggled out, you know, Jerg wiggled out um, multiple prices in here. All I wanted to show you is, again, these are clients that are actually trading and trading live with us. This is actually a Roku spread. This one wasn't too exciting, <laughs> but. I do trade some wild stuff in here. So this one wasn't too exciting, but I put it on for a 205 credit, but I was able to buy it back for like a 38 cent debit. You're like, wait, what? Okay. Basically what that amounts to is about a dollar 60 in profit. That's, it's an interesting, it's a, it's a trade that looks almost backwards in here, but I wanted to kick it off with that tonight. And the reason I wanted to kick it off with that is I wanted to show you again, where we're actually generating some of the gains I just showed you a moment ago. Okay. Back spreads are in very large portion where some of the gains are coming from. However, intraday trade, which is our focus this evening, okay, this is big. This is really big right now because the volatility has been phenomenal with that. This is a huge opportunity. I, I say this all the time, like, you know, volatility. Listen, if you look back in like 2008 time frame, I remember saying in 2008, this was like, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity um, because the volatility was so high for such a sustained period of time. People aren't really saying that right now, which I don't get because the volatility kicked into high gear in late February. OK, let's just not even count February, March, April, May, June, July. OK, we're in August and the VIX. The VIX has crested just a tad under 25. We're about six months with a VIX over 25. And nobody is screaming like, this is it, baby. This is beautiful right now. Okay. You have to block out some of the noise. Okay. Listen, no matter what's going on, I realize in the real world that there's a virus, there's hurricanes, there's earthquakes. Okay. I'm sure you guys come up with a few other disasters going on right now. I apologize profusely. But the volatility is really good. Oh, did I mention the election, which is going to keep the volatility high? It ain't backing down. This is your turn. It's your time to shine. Okay. To get started along the path of success to any degree 
in volatility. I'm going to provide to you some Theo Trade principles. What we do here at Theo Trade, okay, first, okay, and foremost, revolves everything revolves around these principles. And I can't stress that enough. And if I sound like you know a madman, they're like, you have to follow, okay, these principles because this is exactly what very large trading firms okay, are teaching their junior traders. This is exactly the way they walk them through. You know, if you wanted to be a market maker, if you want to survive in this business, you have to have trade logic. You have to have good allocation. Directional bias is going to be tertiary. That's what they're going to say to you. And you're like, I don't even know what that means. Listen, tonight, we're going to focus on intraday trading setups. But it's critical, just critical, to distinguish effective trade performance, which is based on these three factors, trade logic, allocation, directional bias. Now, I'm going to drive these into you and I'm going to say, obey the rules. When I say this, okay, again, not being facetious at all, everything we do here at Theo Trade, okay, all the strategies that we do are actually going to follow that particular, okay, course of action. And if you're unfamiliar with what trade logic is, it's about what we're about to get to right now. Trade logic is the most critical thing. What does it really mean? It's how you approach trades. It's vastly more important than being right or wrong in the markets. What I'm what I'm getting I'm trying to stab out here. As a retail client, okay, and by the way, everybody in here pretty much is a retail client, right? Is that okay? Hmm? <laughs> by the way. I was talking about what is I talking about? Earthquakes and a virus, and 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 then and, and, and there's I'm sure there's floods somewhere, and I miss something. Somebody comes in here, it's like there's murder hornets. How could you forget the murder hornets? I totally forgot. That was actually that was that was some, <laughs> that was some good stuff a couple of months ago. They they that made for some good articles out there. Anyway, trade logic is um is first and foremost, and I put everything into trade logic because most people have no idea what that even means. Okay. The point that I'm trying to make over here, listen, I'm not trying to be an anti-chart, but everyone that approaches the marketplace, all they do is they turn on the TV and they're like, you know, there's there's some monkey on TV that's like, I'm so bullish on this. And there's another monkey on TV. I'm so bearish on this. Okay. The thing that I got to stress to you the most, okay, there are not trading firms out there basing their success on having somebody internally there that is like, you know, the crystal ball holder. That's not how they function, okay? Trading is about a definitive logic. They do things methodically every single time, the exact same way time and time again, okay? There isn't a question, okay, of, you know, what they're going to do. They know exactly what they're going to do. It's trade logic. It's not about, you know, these firms are not turning on CNBC and they're like, so what do you think about the stock? It's not. It's not what it's about. Okay. It's not about being right or wrong. It's not about your MACD. It's not about your Fibonacci. It's definitely not about your Bollinger Band. You can use those. Okay. Because the point that I'm going to make with this is how many times have you been right? You've been right directionally, but you still lost money in a trade. Hmm? How many people are willing to admit that? Just a yes or a no. It's okay. Okay. A why? Okay. Maybe, maybe a yes or a no in there. How many people in here? We have a lot of people on tonight have literally okay been right but you never actually saw yourself right because you either got stopped out okay you barfed out of a position you when i when i say barfed out i'm again not being facetious with that that's a term people you bailed out of a position only to see the marketplace turn around thereafter and i say you know hey stop is a four-letter word okay this is the kind of stuff where nobody nobody ever wants to uh, admit that so listen what i'm going to start with tonight is our trade logic. First step, <clears throat> define your strategy. Break down the logic. When I say break down the logic, ask yourself in every trade, if I were to do this trade 100 times, what's my outcome? What I mean by that is, okay, just because you you turned on a chart, you're like, I looked at Tesla and uh, somebody on a Reddit board said it was going to go up. <laughs> that stuff kills me. Okay, that is not strategy. That is not logic. Okay, that is prayer, pure and simple prayer. And when that runs out, okay, it's going to be a rough day in the marketplace for you. Do something a hundred times. What's the outcome? Are you making money or losing money? Many directionally challenged traders 
What I mean by that is people that can't find direction to save themselves, they can still perform, okay, if given the correct trading logic, right? Warning, I am directionally challenged. That just When I talk about directionally challenged traders, yeah, there I am clearly poking fun at charts. You can look at all the charts all, you know, all day long. The thing with the chart is looking at a chart is like driving home, okay, at high speed, looking through the rear view mirror. Like literally, you know, you're driving home high speed, looking through the rear view mirror. It's charts. I'm just saying, again, directional bias, push it aside for a second. Don't let it impede upon your performance. You got to have strategy. You got to have logic, okay? Intraday options and trade logic. In order to create a viable intraday strategy, we're going to employ the use of options. I said that earlier. Additionally, we are using a defined risk options strategy, okay, as the trade will not, will not have to be monitored the entire day. So not only are we going to go out and we're going to use options, I'm not even going to watch them that much. I'm just going to put it on. Why? Because you're going to find out real quick. The, uh, the risk is fairly minimal. You don't have to be glued to the screen all day. If you have no options experience, do not have cause for concern. I'm going to take you through a basic example in a minute. Okay. We'll go through a basic example. Those of you that are experienced, hang tight. Cause I'm telling you, I'm going to show you some stuff that I promise you is going to challenge you. All right. Listen, why do you want to use options intraday? Like literally, why do you want to use options on an intraday basis? All right. I love this. First of all, minimal capital exposure trade, but the little is a few dollars at risk. Literally, you're going to see trades that I did for 60 bucks in here. Trades I did for 88 bucks in here. Pretty nominal amounts of risk. Good. Number two, they offer weekly options expiration. Several products now offer three expirations per week. Offer viable risk reward when used properly. Check that one off. Risk reward when used properly. You're going to see that in a moment. No need for stops. I don't need no stinking stop. You know what? People that use stops, listen, I'm not picking on anyone tonight. I'm not picking on anyone. Most people do not know any better, okay? They use stops because they don't understand trade logic. They use stops because they're in too deep. They use stops for all the wrong reasons, okay? I am not an advocate of stops. I let you know that. And you know what? There's no, you know, like, you're like, why do you have to be so negative about stops? I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be negative about stops, okay? I'm going to be negative about stops because after 15 years in the brokerage business, no one does well using stops. Okay. People talk about stops. Educators talk about stops. No one does well using stops. Listen, the buck stops here. Well, you think I don't look at everybody's account? <laughs> I looked at accounts for 15 years. Yes, I looked at accounts on a grandiose scale, but sure. I also went in there and goes, does this monkey really make money? Okay. I don't mind saying that. Did this monkey really make money? Like, ah, oh, look at that. He got stopped out on Microsoft again. Listen, all of this stuff can be traded in your retirement accounts. It avoids mass risk, the magnitude and fear produced by futures contracts. Hey, listen, I do not mind futures contracts. I love futures contracts, but most people, it's about magnitude. It's about fear, especially in this marketplace. Futures contracts might not be the perfect place for you to start. Some of you love futures. I'm totally cool with that, right? Uh, trades not be continually monitored. And of course, the trader can produce returns far beyond the max risk. We can go out there, risk 90 bucks, okay? All right, and be able to make what? You know, a thousand off of it. You think I'm joking about that too. You can risk 90 bucks and be able to make a thousand bucks off of it on an intraday basis. Just got to hit the right day. That's exactly what we're going to look at here momentarily. All right. Option basics. Listen, there's some people that have no options experience. If you have options experience, hey, just give me a minute. I'm going to get everybody up to speed. We're going to be off and running with this trade logic. Okay, this is going to be a stock. Now, the stock, I call every fictitious stock, stock. And stock is trading. What do you want to make it? You want to make it a $20 stock? No, that's no fun. Let's make it a $200 stock today. Now, Am I going to own the stock? No, I'm not going to own the stock. Why not? Because I don't want to buy the stock. Why don't you want to buy the stock? Because it ties up a lot of capital. I think that's a pretty good reason. It ties up a lot of capital in there. You know, but there's no commissions. Ah, the commissions and options are nominal today too. So what I'm going to look at instead of buying stock, 
I'm going to look at a 200 call. And that 200 call, all options are good for a period of time. You know how long that 200 call is good for? You're going to love this. That 200 call is good for one week. That 200 call only has a week to like live. It only has a week to live. And it's going to be trading for, let's call it $3. This is a volatile stock, people. It's an angry stock. So you have a 200 call. Now, time out, time out. For those of you that are brand new at this point to options, you're looking at this and go, I don't even know what a call is. <laughs> I don't even know what a call is. Okay, so let's explain it. What is a call? The 200 call. See, 200 call. The 200 is what we call the strike price. It allows you to buy the stock at 200. Now, do you want to buy the stock? No. So why do I buy a 200 call? I buy a 200 call because I want to make money from the 200 call. See, you can buy a 200 call for $3, hoping that this stock appreciates quite rapidly on an intraday basis. So if I buy the 200 call, 200 calls trading for three bucks, three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. What's the most I could possibly lose in here? Okay. I could lose three bucks. Right, I could have a $3 risk event here if the stock that I what didn't buy because I didn't buy the stock, but if the stock right started to go down and go, oh, the stock started to fall and the stock went all the way down to like 180 in one day, earnings came out. Your $3 is what we call toast. Oh, you lost everything, you lost three bucks, right? Because in a 200 call, you have the right to buy the stock at 200. Now, are you going to buy the stock? No. Then why do I want the right to buy the stock? Because I just want to make money off the thing, right? I have the right to buy the stock. I don't have to buy the stock. Mm, nothing implies that I'm going to buy the stock. So what happens if the stock goes up? Okay, I can make some money on it. What happens if the stock goes all the way to 205? What's a 200 call worth when the stock's trading at 205? It's got to be worth at least $5. How do you know that? Okay, if the stock goes to 205 and you have a 200 call, you have the right to buy the stock at 200. Everybody else in the world would have to pay 205. If you have the right to buy the stock at 200, you could buy the stock at 200, sell the stock at 205, and make your $5 that way. All I want you to see in this particular example is that the 200 call appreciates in price as the stock goes where? Up. Now, okay, I'm going to get into a little bit more context. Are we okay? For those of you that have never, never, never had options experience, that is your crash course in options. Right? You buy a 200 call. Why? Because it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying the stock. But that doesn't make you money. That $3 of risk is a lot of risk, right? It doesn't make you money just to be able to go out there and to buy a call. What makes you money is going to be the trade logic behind it. And I'm going to spend more time on the trade logic, okay? So, options logic example. Now, this is where I was going to tell you. So, for those of you that are very basic traders, you just picked up on the super basic example, right? We said 200 call gives you the right to buy the stock at 200. Like, okay, that sounds pretty good. All right, but we're going to go a little further than that. All right, we're going to talk about options on an intraday basis, all right? And what an intraday basis, we're going to buy an option intraday. And what intraday means, you're going to bail out prior to day's end in every case. You're going to be in and out in what? In the exact same day. In and out on the exact same day. Big question, what option do you buy? What option are you going to buy in here? Because what I'm stabbing at over here, people blindly buy options. Why do they blindly buy options? Because they think they can make money on it. It's all about what option to buy. You need to know the exact option to buy. Okay? The exact expiration. We'll get to that. It's about risk versus reward. It's critically important. It couldn't be more critical than risk versus reward in options logic. You're going to see that here in a minute. A hundred trades later. This is also, okay, this is something that literally trading firms teach junior traders. And they actually call it the hundred trades later test, okay? In the scenario, you need to create a trade setup, okay? We're going to create a trade setup where we can be right 50% of the time. So it's a coin flip, right? Heads, tails, 50, 50. <clears throat> Can't stress this enough. 50% of the time and still see a degree of profitability. If you cannot do that with your strategy, you're already dead, you just don't know it. Why? 
because you're not always going to be correct with your directional bias. People are going to look at a MACD. They're going to look at a Fibonacci. They're going to look at a Bollinger Band. They're throwing in an Elliott Waver like, it's a type four. No, no. It gets crazy, right? <clears throat> Forget about any bias. We're not, we're not even going to put bias in there right now. When I say bias, don't even look at a chart, okay? Are you going to be bullish or bearish today? Are you going to be bullish or bearish today? I want you to flip a coin right now. I want you to flip a coin because if you could do a hundred trades, be right 50% of the time and still come out ahead, does that interest you? Because that's a key, key part. Hmm? Anybody? This is the, by the way, these are not rhetorical questions. Clearly I'm a heavily caffeinated individual, but if you could do a hundred trades, okay, be right half the time and still come out ahead, does it interest you? Because that's where, again, so Many people don't get it, right? They don't get it to start with the first product. Now, don't freak out if you're new on me here because I don't, I don't want to lose you in this example, okay? We're going to look at a screenshot that I took today, and I wanted to use something literally today, okay? And you will learn, you will learn how to find the right product. This product is EEM. What is EEM? It is the Emerging Markets ETF. It's actually a super, super liquid product too. Look at all the, like the contracts that traded on here. Anyway, in EEM, all right, here's the first example that we're going to provide to you. This, what you're looking at here, the screenshot, this is Thinkorswim. It's the last price, the net change in the day. Here's the options that I'm trading right now. And this is the option that we're going to go buy. Now, that's the option we're going to buy. And I want you to see what we're going to do in this example. <clears throat> Let's say, for argument's sake, we're just going to go out and blindly buy that particular option. Okay. Now, we're buying a call option. Why are we buying a call option? Well, in this, in this example, okay, I want to be bullish. Why do I want to be bullish? I'm going to be very forthright with you. It's easier to teach the example on the bullish side of it. I am simply going to teach it from a bullish side because it's easier. All right. In fact, you're going to see my trade examples in a minute. I do a lot of bearish trades. Okay. I don't mind being bearish because there's more P and L to be sought after on the bearish side, um, which I'll also explain a little bit later. But I want to tell you that let's say I go out, I have to select the right option. In this case, I know I did select the right option. We purchase, okay, the 4350 call. What's a 4350 call? Give me the right to do. Gives you the right to buy the stock at 4350. What does the 4350 call? What's it currently trading for? Well, it's trading for 60 cents. It says it right there. Okay, don't worry about the bid offer. Use just the the ask. It's trading for 60 cents. Okay, so if I go out there and I buy this thing for 60 cents, people, what's the most I can lose? You tell me. How much can I lose? Mm -hmm. anybody anybody okay how much can i lose if i pay 60 cents for the trade if i pay 60 cents for the trade i could lose the full 60 cents all right what i want you to see in this trade first of all my max risk is 60 cents now what is the call option estimated to be worth if the underlying moves up or down just 50 cents okay which means this underlying this is not a big mover or shaker come on it's a 43 dollar a 44 dollar stock right ETF. Let's say it goes up 50 cents or down 50 cents. By the way, I'm going to take you through this example a couple of different times. So just make sure. What is this option going to be worth if the stock moves up 50 cents or down 50 cents? I'll tell you the fastest way to do this. And this is an area that you only really learn in the market making business, unless somebody that was a market maker probably told you. All you have to do is look at the option right here and the option right here. And you're like, wait, what? Listen, if you want to know, what a 4350 call is worth. If the stock goes up 50 cents, the 4350 call is going to act like the 43 call, which means it's going to move from the value point of 60 cents. All of a sudden, it's going to move what? Up and it's going to be worth a dollar. Does that make sense? And if I'm wrong, let's say I'm wrong, okay? And the market moves down 50 cents. So if the market moves down, okay? My 60 cents, what's it going to be worth? My 60 cents is going to be worth 30 cents. Now, there's no if, and, or, but about it. These are the prices. This is the way it's going to work. If we move 50 cents, like right now, higher or lower, okay, 
your 60 cents is going to be worth a dollar or your 60 cents is going to be worth 30 cents. Time out. Does that make sense? Okay. Does that make sense? By the way, this, this product can move a little bit more than this. It's poised to move about 75 cents in the week, but I'm just using a 50 cent move to begin with. Does this make sense to everybody right now? Because you're like, so why are you showing me this? I'm going to show you exactly why I'm showing you this. I'm showing you this because if, if in this trade we are right, there's edge in here. And if we're wrong, there's still edge in here. What's the edge? If we're right and the stock moves up, because this is a bullish trade, if we're right, we're going to make approximately 40 cents. And if we're wrong, we're only going to lose 30 cents plus transaction costs. Time out. Do you see what I'm talking about? Okay. I'm not talking about making a, a fortune on this trade. I don't want you to think I am going to make a fortune on this trade. All I want you to see, okay, is a trade put on properly at this point. We're not talking about executing a strategy. We're talking about the right option selection. And if you don't select the right option, you're just dead. You're already dead. You just don't know it. In this particular strategy, with a 50-50 shot, I'm telling you, you buy this option for 60 cents, okay? There's a 50-50 shot whether it'll go up or down. If we go up, okay, I'm gonna make 40 cents. We go, what, down? I'm gonna lose 30 cents. Now, if I were to do 100 trades being right 50% of the time, that still has viable outcomes. Are we okay? Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Because this, this, like the first time people see it, they're like, Oh, that's, that's, that, 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 that's, that's interesting. It might take a couple times to click. Let's go to Twitter. The screenshot was also uh, taken today. Okay. Why Twitter? I don't know. It was Twitter. Twitter was trading at like 36 bucks. I'm trying to keep the price for the first like couple examples. I keep the price a little low because it makes it easier. Okay. So here in Twitter, we're going to purchase a 3550 call. So we're going to purchase 3550 call. What's the call option estimated to be worth if the underlying moves up or down now a dollar? <gasps> It's a dollar. So we're going to move from here. Okay. If we're at the 35.50, we're not going to move 50 cents. Now we're going to go up a buck or down a buck. You guys with me? Up a buck or down a buck, up a buck, down a buck. Let's say there's a 50 50 shot. You flip a coin and you're bullish and you put the bullish strategy on. Well, if Twitter moves a dollar, okay, which Twitter, by the way, can Twitter can move, but Twitter moves a dollar. Here we are 35.50. It'll be worth what the 34.50s are worth. Or conversely, if you're dead wrong, okay, it's going to be worth what the 3650s are worth, right? Now, if I take you through this again, I'll take you through some of the math, okay? Your what? Your dollar five can be worth what? About a buck 85, right? Or it could be worth, okay? I know it says 48 cents. We'll just round this one to 50 cents, okay? I'm only rounding up by two pennies. I have to make it easy. These are real screenshots, so it is what it is. It's a real marketplace. Now, is there any edge in here? Is there any edge whatsoever in this? If I'm right, what am I going to make? Uh, close to uh, 80 cents. I'm going to make about 80 cents so that if I'm right. If I'm wrong, what am I going to lose? I'm going to lose about, let's call it 56, 57 cents. Okay. If I'm wrong, I'm realistically going to lose about 57 cents. That's after everything. That's transaction cost. Put it all in there. Okay. That's what I'm going to lose. Do you see why in a 50, 50 scenario this works? Okay. Now we have not talked about directional bias. Forget about directional bias. And this blows people's minds the first time that they see it. And they don't, you don't realize five cents of edge is huge. It's about the selection of the right option. Okay. Get the option wrong. You're in big trouble because it's about selection of the right option. Let's do one more, one more. Now, now again, I'm moving into the big boy products, okay? This is the spiders. The spiders are one of the most liquid, if not the most liquid product, arguably, in the entire marketplace. Why do we love the spiders? We love the spiders, look at this. It's penny wide markets. You know, you're like, oh, 245, dollar 44, 96 cents. Okay, I took the screenshot today. This, this product rocks, man. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to go out and we're going to purchase a 327 call, but we're, now we're going to move the stock up or down $2 because the spiders can easily, what, they can move easily up two bucks or down two bucks. And again, all I'm doing is the exact same strategy again and again and again and again. I'm just buying a call, buying a call, buying a call to make sure you understand it. Here's the 327, 327, it's worth about $2.80. If we move 
one, two dollars in my direction, the 280 is going to be worth about four, okay, 46, right? If it moves two dollars against me, it's going to be worth about a dollar 45. Now, how much do I make or lose in this particular strategy? Now, for this one, okay, listen, if you're un comfortable at this point it's fine if you're uncomfortable you're like oh, maybe uh, maybe I'm a little bit uh, a little bit slow right now here pull up the trusted calculator so we'll pull up our little trusted calculator over here and I want you to take four okay 46 for instance minus 280 okay so if we're right we're gonna make about a buck what about a dollar 66 we'll put that up here in a second so if I'm right I'm gonna make a dollar 66 okay and I'll clear that out if I'm wrong there's 280, okay, minus a dollar 45. Whoops, sorry about that. 280. Oh man, I can't click the mouse. 2.8 <laughs> minus dollar point four five equals dollar 35. Okay, so it's about a dollar 35. So again, if we are wrong in here oh i almost wrote on the pen with a real with a real pen okay if we're right on here we're gonna make about a buck 66 if we're wrong we're gonna lose about a dollar 35. i just want you to see again how edge is achieved through the selection of the right option it's the most important thing okay we're approaching it through a trade logic we're not approaching the strategy yet through directional bias i have no problem I really don't with MACDs and Fibonacci's and Bollinger Bands. My problem is that you understand that market setup is secondary. It's really tertiary because you have to understand allocation too. Okay. Are we okay so far? All right. All right. By the way, somebody said, can you show what happens if you pick the wrong, if you pick the wrong option, okay, pick the wrong option, you're going to get absolutely killed. You'll just pick the, the wrong option. Like if you just bought some random call out here, what people do all the time is they buy what's cheap. They buy out here what's cheap, but they don't understand. Even if the market goes up, those options are not going to make money. That's what I mean by buying the wrong option. You have to buy the right option. Listen, trade logic, the implications. In constructing an intraday trade, your option selection, it's imperative. In the previous examples, we could be right directionally less than 50% of the time and still come out ahead. And I'm being honest with this. Can your strategy do that? Can you do it? And you're going to actually see my trades here momentarily. Can you go out and do a strategy, whatever it might be, be right less than 50% of the time and still come out? Think about the implications of selecting a strategy that can provide a degree of edge in the markets before we've even discussed direction of the markets. That's why we say long live trade logic. That's what it means. Long live trade logic. You now know what trade logic means. Trade logic means you better pick the right option. You better actually find edge in, okay, in the option itself that you're selecting. By the way, you'll appreciate this one. This is what our members are saying. And this is just a, uh, just a few days ago that I actually pulled this, um, out of our chat room and I appreciate Jamie G for writing it. Uh, I trade pretty small. I like the intraday options because chances are your losses will be small. Okay. Your winner's big. I've made 10 QQQ intraday trades in the past few weeks, lost on seven of them, but I'm profitable because the winners are huge. I just wanted you guys to see that because that is, that's the mantra of trade logic is yeah, you can still kind of screw up. You don't have to necessarily be right and you can come out ahead. Now, with that being said, now that we got through some trade logic, of course, there's directional bias. Okay. Let's approach directional bias. After all, that's what people always want to see. They, they want foresight. They want insight to the marketplace. This is going to be a little different. Maybe. All right. This is a quants guide to market direction. So, if you haven't figured this out, and some people have no idea what this, this term means, okay, I am a quant. <laughs> you know, you're like, uh, is that a disease? Yes, very close to it. I'm a quant. I'm a trader math geek. I grew up around trader math geeks. And any strategy that I present is going to have mathematical logic. It's going to be based on probabilities. It's going to be based on outcomes. Okay. I'm going to be very, again, very honest with you. 
I don't I don't look at the Bactees and the Fibonaccis and the Bollinger Bands to assess because when I do that, it doesn't give me definitive, like it doesn't say that you have a 70% chance of X occurring. You have this, okay? Quants do not typically rely on charts and studies, but rather we rely heavily on probabilities. We rely on relationships. We rely on seeking statistical edge in any place we can get it anytime we can get it. Okay. If you're not familiar with quant geeks, don't worry about it. I will be going over, okay, throughout this presentation, why and how quantitative analysis is probably going to become your new best friend. And uh, by the way, geek, trader, math geek, it's an endearing term now because apparently geek is the uh, is the new sexy. In uh, <laughs> how how messed up is this world? <laughs> You know, nobody has pocket protectors on right now. No, no, the real geeks are carrying Macs. Okay, look for the uh, look for the geek with the Mac under uh, under their arm, and uh, geek is the new sexy out there. But listen, markets speak volumes. Trading for you needs to about it's got to be about reading into market relationships, especially on an intraday basis. Reading market relationships can help you construct a probability based outcome on an intraday basis. Now that's a mouthful. Okay. When I say reading market relationships, probability-based outcome, I'm actually going to show you exactly what that means here momentarily. Listen, most people are myopic. They trade in a myopic, you know, like closed environment. And are you guilty of it? Okay. Um, when I say myopic, again, you know, like, is, that, is there like a negative connotation for that? Myopic, right? You can't see anything but one chart. Myopic traders are focusing on one product. They they like, what is Microsoft doing? What is Apple doing? What is Tesla doing? I need to look at Tesla. Okay. Myopic traders are those focusing on one product and they fail to see the larger probability of an impending sell off or rally. Doesn't matter. Don't worry. It happens to everybody out there. It does. Okay. There's a cure. But again, myopic means that you're literally focused on one chart. You got your MACDs, your Fibonacci's, your Bollinger Bands. Okay, it looks like this. In fact, uh, this was kind of fun because I took um, I took this screenshot today, and I, I took the screenshot today, and I didn't really know how this was uh, this is going to work out <laughs> for an example. So I took the screenshot today, and then uh, if you guys don't understand what I'm what you're looking at here, it's the Nasdaq, it's the QQQ, right? I gotta make my pen bigger. This pen is messing with me. It's messing with my head, man. There's the QQQ, and the QQQ backs off, rallies, backs off, rallies, backs off, and it's just it's just ready to rip throughout the course of the day. It's ready to rip. And if you're looking at this, this is what myopic means. Okay, it's ready to rip. There we are at 709. Okay, that was pretty much the uh, the high tick of the morning, and it maintained a uh, steady sell off until very late in the day. That's what myopic trading does and will tear you apart consistently in doing so. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a probability based outcome, even intraday trading. It's based on probability and it's based on outcomes. OK, and you're like, what is that? Like, how does that work? Like, how does probability come into play over here? What we're going to do is we're going to select several products. And with those products, okay, we're going to create a higher probability outcome for intraday trades. Now, as a, a moment ago, a moment ago, I said, you could come in here with a 50-50 bias, right? You could come in here with a 50-50 bias, but if we were right, we were making like what? In that one example, a dollar 66. And if we're wrong, we're losing a dollar 35. That unto itself creates an edge. But what happens if I can actually teach you to read a little bit more into probabilities on an intraday basis? Allow us to review a few products that can let you create viable intraday probability. Say, so, is everybody okay at this point, right? Everybody okay? Because this is where, you know, breathe people, because you're about to see a lot. I actually picked a little bit more of a random trading day here, and I'm just going to show you this is a trading day from a few weeks ago, um, because the setup was a little cleaner to be able to teach you. This is how we are going to generate a probability based outcome. All right. What this means, this intraday checklist, okay, what the intraday checklist does, if you know the correct products to watch, 
and what to look for. You can actually create a full probability model based on this. You can literally a probability based outcome and an incredibly viable intraday setup. You're like, well, I don't get it. You have the S&P 500, you have the NASDAQ, you have bonds, you have volatility futures, you have the advanced decline line, specifically of Quantix, monsters of tech, monsters of tech are Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, you have the financials, you have the energy sector. How does this work? Do you know what the probability okay, is in here? To build a probability-based model, I'm going to teach you the absolute easiest way to do this. Up here, these are futures contracts. Maybe you never traded them. That is absolutely fine. Okay, but I'm going to take you through how a probability based outcome works. Okay, I might look at 10 different things. Okay, on this screen. Okay, 10 different things on that screen. So, what are the 10 things? I'm telling you right here. All right now, I don't have every single product on here, but I'm looking at 10 different things the futures. Okay, those are bullish. This is bullish. This is bullish. The Russell, a little worrisome. It's a little bit weak on a relative basis. I'm just reading into the, what you're seeing on the screen. The volatility is down. It's extraordinarily bullish. The bonds, okay? The bonds are down. Also bullish, but the bonds, the bonds are not down that much. You have to understand that the bonds are not, not like down that much. That's like literally one for the, uh, for the bears over there, okay? As you actually cruise down the list of the usual suspects, you look at what's called the monsters of tech. They're flying. They're up a full 2%. The monsters of tech are your Microsoft, your Apple, your Facebook, your Amazon. They're up 2%. That's the most bullish thing on the screen over there. We look at the advanced decline line. The advanced decline line is going to be phenomenal. We look at Quantix. Quantix looks great. The ticks are straight up over here. What I'm doing is I'm going through every single product, okay, and I'm going check, 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 check. All right. And I'll give you a quick example. If there's 10 different products, okay, and eight of them are in wild, for instance, okay, bullish territory, you have an 80% probability, okay, for the forward future that we're going to maintain the directional bias, meaning that, for instance, trend A to the upside. In this particular case, that's exactly what you're looking at. What we do with these quantitative models, it's not that difficult. Okay, it's never though. I want you to understand something. I don't pick direction of oil by looking at oil. I don't pick direction of the S&Ps by looking at the S&Ps. You have to look at everything that surrounds it. This is a server-driven world. Everything is intertwined these days and you gotta get that, okay? And what a probability-based model does is it just goes checklist, 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 okay? And if you only had seven out of 10 products that are bullish, all right, so you have a 70% probability we maintain the same direction barring any wild and unforeseen circumstances. This is on top of the right option selection. And that's a little bit of what some quantitative analysis can do, okay, on an intraday basis. Does that make sense to everybody? Because again, if this is like the first time, if this is the first time you've ever seen this, this kind of blows people's minds because most people approach the marketplace like, I was looking for this breakout to the upside and, um, it, 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 you know, it was like a doji can. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're living, okay? You're living in 1999. You want to come into 2020? You got to build probability-based models. What do you think all these trading firms are doing and these algorithms are doing? That's all they do is they're just handicapping markets on a day-to-day -day basis. Markets that go up, continue to go up. You got to know if they're going to continue to go up by actually building yourself a probability-based model. I told you I was going to teach you something today. This one's huge, but even more important is the right option selection. Listen, this is key factors, key factors to intraday okay, success. You got to employ a viable trade logic displayed with the use of options. Number two, the use of a multitude of quantitative, quantitative indicators can assist you in creating a higher probability trade setup. Okay, is the right trade logic coupled with our quantitative approach directional bias, what you have been looking for, okay? Because everybody comes here from all different walks of life and, you know, is that the kind of thing that maybe you're looking for that maybe you didn't even know that was out there, okay? Let me show you a couple of examples and I'm going to be brief with examples because I've already thrown a couple trading examples at you, but I want you to understand how this works and I'm going to show you a couple of examples from just a few different weeks in time, okay, to show you some of the consistency. This is a Facebook trade. Okay, just some recent trade examples, but I go back a little bit in time and I'll move forward sequentially. This trade, okay, was put on, okay, May what? First, in fact, let me highlight this. 
okay, May 1st, and it was put on right at the open. By the way, I'm on Pacific time. I'm in Arizona right now. I'm on Pacific time, okay, and it was actually the trade was closed May 1st, right there at about 1030. This was not a heavily monitored trade. We went out and we bought a 205 put. This is a bearish trade. We bought that put for $1.98. Now, if you're a little newer to this, okay, $1.98. This, you would think to yourself, has $198 of risk. That's absolutely incorrect. We have substantially less risk because this option, okay, this option had plenty of time to go. So, yeah, you know, you're like, oh, I kind of could have lost, uh, should have lost. No. So we went out there and risked. We'll call it $198, okay? I closed the trade eh, briefly thereafter, a few few hours thereafter for what? Okay, for $475. Now, if you wanted to do, that's just one contract. You wanted to do 10 contracts. This is what? Almost $2,000 of risk to be able to return $4,750, okay? These are huge returns for a few hours in here. Now, why Facebook? Why this option? Those are the right questions, okay? Facebook provided a phenomenal risk reward setup on this particular day. But let's move past Facebook, okay? Let's just move past Facebook. We okay with the Facebook example? Everybody kind of understand? It's the right option selection. This was actually coupled with some good quantitative analysis on the way in. And it, instead of putting me in the spiders, instead of putting me in the queues, it put me in Facebook, okay? Next one on the docket. This one, okay, is Intel. And I wanted to show you Intel because something interesting happened here. And people like are always surprised when I show this. Listen, this was put on May 11th. It was closed May 11th. It was put on very early in the morning. It was closed right before the close, right before the close. Opening transaction, closing transaction, okay? Here, put this on for $1.83. I closed it, okay, for 205. Did I make a lot of money in here? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't mind saying that. I did not make very much money in here, okay? But it's Intel. This is an underlying that doesn't move a whole lot. This wasn't about big P&L. This one, okay, was about a soft move to the downside, a trade that wasn't necessarily monitored. Everything didn't work out swimmingly here, and I still actually came out ahead. Right. And that's it's an important point to be taken on this particular strategy that things it didn't work out swimmingly for me here. It just didn't. OK, I bought the 62 put stock waffled around a little bit, drifted a little, and I was still able to actually pull out for a profit. It's huge. OK, that's huge. And you, you got to understand how huge it is when you're doing things. You select the right option. OK, and you don't necessarily have to be right directionally. And that's why I put this example in here to not show you Don did not hit this out of the park. Don bunted on this one and it was okay. I'm even going to show you a couple of losses here in a second. Next one, this is the QQQ. I like the Qs as well. Okay. So again, I'll get a little bit more recent here. This one was actually put on July 7th, closed July 7th. Look, it was put on four minutes after the cash open and it was closed 20 minutes to the close. Okay. One of the things I did, I don't monitor this stuff throughout the course of the day. Okay. I am a busy, busy person over here. Okay, scalped in, scalped out, done, all right? Next one in here, all right, spiders. Now, I have a ton of different spider examples, just a ton of different spider examples. Here in the spiders, okay, this was back on uh, June 23rd, okay? This was one that I just did towards the end of the trading day. I had a lot of people in the chat room and they're sitting there like, hey man, make something happen. I go, oh, I'll just buy an option, listen, here we are at 12 o'clock. There's only one hour to go to the close, okay? And I closed it pretty much at the bell. In this case, okay, I had to pay $3 for the option. I closed it for $3.65. Again, that is inside of one hour. You know, you think to yourself like, but you had $3.03 and, and of risk. I didn't have $3.03 of risk. This option wasn't going to expire today. You can see it was actually a June 24th expiration. So I still had a lot of time. How much real risk did I have in here? Nominal. There wasn't much risk in here. The max risk in here was maybe, maybe I had about 50 cents of risk in there. And I still turned out and pulled almost 65 cents of profitability inside of an hour. Okay. And again, this is what intraday trading is about people. Like, you know, you're looking for like home runs. We'll get there in a second. 
Okay, you're not ready for home runs yet. You got to learn how to hit singles. You got to learn how to hit doubles. This is exactly what I was showing you a moment ago. You know, if you get a dollar move in your direction, you're going to make 65 cents. But if the market moves against you, you're only going to lose what? Maybe 50 cents. That's what's critical in these examples, right? Here we go. Spy puts. Oh, I told you, I'm going to show you a losing trade. Here's a losing trade. This is an option that I bought. Okay, June 22nd. I fished this one out specifically so you could see a total loser. June 22nd, okay? And the option actually expired that day. I paid 62 cents. So my max risk in here, okay, was $62. It expired worthless. I took a full loss. Ooh, okay. I took a full loss. It was 62 cents. But now I'm going to show you the almost the same trade, okay, that didn't quite work out that way. So the next one is another spy example. And we're getting a little bit more recent here. All right. So this one's actually put on July 7th, closed July 7th. Look, opened right first thing in the morning. By the way, that trade in the morning is done in front of clients. This trade, okay, in the afternoon is done in front of our clients. I trade live, right? This is a trade that doesn't even expire that day. I paid $237 for it, okay? I ended up with 387 okay? at the end of it. Now, I say 387. Again, you could have done as many contracts as you wanted over here. You know, don't just come in and be like I'm a 10 contract trader, I'm a 10 contract trader. This, okay, is very realistic returns for a trading session. It's really really realistic like returns. And again, these are trades in the month of July that I'm not monitoring. Could I do better on some of them? Yeah, no, I'm not heavily monitoring this particular strategy. I'm just sitting back and letting the marketplace, you know, do what it's going to do. But my risk in here, the point that I, I got to just strongly urge to you, the risk in here isn't even the full 237. Because this option, I bought it on what, July 7th? It doesn't expire to the next day. Realistically, I didn't even have, maybe I had a dollar of risk in this trade. Maybe I had a dollar of risk. And yet at the same time, Okay, look at the profitability. I'm almost able to pull out like what? Like a dollar fifty of profit with only a dollar at risk is huge. Here, what our members are saying. Here, that's the exact trade. Like, you know, thanks Don out for seven fifty two. Don, you're amazing. I made fourteen hundred and fifty eight dollars with te techniques learned at Theo Trade. Pablo, thanks, nice profits. Have a great weekend. All right. Now, I am gonna show you one big one. Okay, because this is uh this is actually this is one of the bigger ones that I've had recently. So uh hey, hey. I'm cherry picking a little bit towards the end over here, if you don't mind. I put this one on on uh, July 13th, took it off, obviously off July 13th. Uh, I bought the 322 puts, sold the 322 puts. I paid literally, okay, 88 cents for it. It's $88 for a one lot, okay? That's real, people. Pulled out $717, okay, out of 88 cents. This right here, that's the most important lesson. If you go out and you do the same thing again and again and again and again, you're very consistent and you pick the right options, okay? A handful of times, if you do 10 trades, maybe two out of the 10, you're going to knock it out of the park. This is why we, we stress to you, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about the right option selection because only the right option selection are going to those, those kind of returns for you. I mean, this is monumental large returns, literally. $88 at risk return 717. Okay. If you had $888 at risk or $880, I should say at risk. Okay. The return was what? It's over $7,000. Okay. And that had what? Oh, less than five hours of the trading day. By the way, this strategy is just to show you, I want to show you the exact dates, July 13th. I took everybody with me on this one. Okay, when I say everybody, this one was was huge for people in here. It was one of the bigger ones we had in the uh, summer. But uh, Eugene, woohoo, thanks. Okay, Mariano, yes, sir. Okay, absolute home run. Plan your trade, trade your plan, stay in the game. Uh, Paul, okay, get your Don dollars. This is actually uh, Haram. I love this guy. You know why I love this guy? He actually posted the exact trade that he did. He got it better than me. He actually filled. That is a fill, and it shows you on the bats exchange he closed it for $7.30. Beat me. Paid $0.50. Cents, closed it for $7.30. Okay. Thank you, Don. Uh, I just wanted to show you again. We took, you know, there's, by the way, there's 6,000 people, okay, at Theo Trade. And this particular strategy had literally, 
you know, thousands of people in it, same option, same time. By the way, here's actually one of my uh, my favorite quotes of that particular day. It comes from uh, Daniel Fabian. Hey guys, new member here. Been lurking the chat for about a month, okay? Was short the spy. He bought the puts with me. Theotrade is the only membership that I've ever had that pays for itself and then some. And I just wanted to pull that one out there for you. Listen, what I'm showing you tonight, okay? It's what better time to do this stuff? Like you're gonna learn a new skill set that'll last a lifetime. You know, when are you ever gonna have time like this again too? If you're still working, okay? You could do this stuff part-time. If you're still working, most people are working from home. Watch the screen a little bit. If you could watch the screen a little bit early in the day, I trade, I trade pretty much every single morning. You could do it totally part-time. If you're quarantined, I think it's a great way to emerge stronger and in better financial shape. I mean, again, all the trades, if you don't have a lot of time, and I keep stressing this, it's not a huge problem. All the stuff, okay, that I displayed specifically today, from the back spreads to the intraday trades, were all done live. The trade results were showing a perfect, again, for part-timers, intraday trades can be hands off even if a fraction of your time is good enough to see uh, some strong results over there you don't have to be sitting glued to the computer screen a couple characteristics if you will of this particular trade so the attributes of intraday trading with quant analysis are undeniable minimal capital exposure you can have a couple of bucks at risk literally a few dollars at risk offer weekly options expiration right there's now three expirations per week in a lot of products offer viable risk reward. Risk is limited to precisely your comfort level. That last strategy, I had 88 bucks at risk. There's no need for stop orders. We don't need no stinking stops. What are you gonna do? You're gonna lose 88 bucks. So be it, lose the $88. Let fly, because I'm telling you, you don't have to be right, okay? But 50% of the time, because we're gonna select the right options. All of this stuff can be traded in your retirement accounts. By the way, the strategies that I just showed you today, those were done in the retirement accounts. Avoids the mass risk, the sheer magnitude and fear produced by futures contracts. There's nothing wrong with futures contracts, but learning with futures contracts, okay, produces a lot of fear. Trades, they need not be continually monitored throughout the course of the day. What do you care? You got 88 bucks at risk. Or for those of you that have, you know, a million dollar plus account, put $880 at risk. What do you care? Walk away, okay? You have the right strategy on, walk away. Trader can produce returns far beyond the max risk in any given position. We make sure that if the risk is 88 bucks, you got to be able to make a lot more than $88. This is an excellent tool for those seeking returns to build a smaller account, right? And again, that's the characteristics are everything, right? You got the right trade logic, the right characteristics. Then you got to turn around. You gotta actually got to build this thing, okay? For those of you that are brand new, please, please, please do not let options intimidate you. Okay. There's always people, there's always one in a crowd that's like, I don't know if I could do this whole options thing. It's, Listen, it couldn't be easier than intraday trade. I, I loaded up a trade down below. Okay, loaded up the trade down below. It was for a dollar. That's it. Trade below is being done for a dollar debit. But you got to understand that options, okay? Options are like the power tools of the financial markets. Options can be phenomenal in creating returns. They can be, but you have to learn how to use them. It's the same thing if you want to use a power saw. You're going to use a power saw to cut a, a couple of two by fours, fantastic, right? Power saw is going to get it done quick, clean, but if you don't know how to use it, off come the fingers. The same thing is true of options. Options are going to be quick. They're going to be fast. They're going to be safe. They're going to be the easiest way to get where you want to go in the marketplace. But if you do not how to use options correctly, you select the wrong options, the wrong expiration, you pay too much, that's cutting off a couple of fingers. Listen, you can trade intraday using options. Maybe you don't know options. You have limited experience. Don't panic. You need this stuff. You need these strategies for the foreseeable market future. You know, you got to understand we're in a marketplace that is undeniably volatile. And, okay, it's very likely to get more volatile. You guys do know one of the most volatile months in the marketplace, the most volatile month in the marketplace, historically speaking, is September. Okay. You know what's also up there? August. We're in August, baby. Bring it. August is one of the most volatile months in the marketplace. And what people don't realize is 
you can use intraday trade, okay, in lieu of going out there and buying a couple hundred shares of Apple, which is insanity right now. There's so much risk, okay? I can taste it. For 15 years watching people trade, I can tell you there's risk out there. There's one thing, you need to mitigate your risk. And if that means you need to trade, okay, some little bitty options for $100 here or $200 here, that's what you need to do. You need this stuff for the foreseeable market future. We can show you how and when to place option trades. Yeah, it'll take a couple of hours. But what we really do here at Theotrade, we create detailed recipes for every trading strategy, including intraday options, okay, with quantitative analysis, right? And there's a point that I always make, okay, about trading. And, and it's simply this, okay? Trading is not, it's not about, oh, I think it's going up and think it's going down. It's, it's about a recipe, okay? You wouldn't bake a cake without a recipe. I would say trading is about a recipe. It's literally like a checklist. You know, you bake a cake. You're like, okay, I got some flour, okay? We need some chocolate. I mean, if you bake a cake 20 different times, I bet you you don't need the recipe anymore. Trading though, same way. You got checklists. You have to know, okay, what makes a good trade? Are you following definitive checklists to be able to get in? Are you following a definitive checklist to be able to get out of all the different variables, Okay. Why do people trade without knowing exactly where they're going? You think about that. You, you work your, you know, proverbial beep off. You take the capital, you throw it into the marketplace. Then there's no, there's no plan. There's no nothing. Okay. And I see people do this every single day. You know, a doctor spends what? Eight years in school, two, three years more in residency. They come out. Okay. All that training, they make $250,000 a year, right? Think about this for a second. The doctor is extraordinarily skilled. Why? Because they've had immense training, possibly 12 years of school before they go out and be that doctor. Then that very same doctor takes that $250,000 they make a year and invests it in the stock market. And what do they do? They don't know what the hell they're doing. And it's infuriating, okay, because this is a skill set like any other skill set. You're going to have to learn something here. Okay. And right now you have people blindly like I'm getting an extra 600 bucks a week. Ah, it's going to the market. Okay. That's your money. You don't, don't trade it. Right. Like you don't care about it. Ah, the government gave it to me. I don't care. Trade it. Okay. Like it's your last dollar on earth because you know what? That $600 may not be there. And, and you got to recognize this. Listen, this, this is what you need to know to successfully enter and exit intraday strategies. You got to know what makes a viable intraday options candidate. And when I say a viable candidate, what am I talking about? Well, you just saw a moment ago. I traded a little Facebook. Okay. I traded some spy. I traded some IWM. I traded some QQQ. You know, I traded some of this, some of that. What makes that viable candidate? Because I'm going to tell you what, it varies on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. How does it vary? It varies based on volatility. You got to know the right volatility should I seek out. Huh? What volatility should I seek out? Should be high volatility, low volatility, high volatility. Tesla, please. Did you see me doing an intraday trade on Tesla? Okay. I leave that for the people at Robin Hood because they're going to get killed. They don't realize it, right? You know, you're like marked, okay? The ducks are quacking right now. When the ducks are quacking, you feed them. You got to have the right volatility, okay? Then it comes to expiration. What options expiration do I select? For those of you that don't know options, let me actually show you a little bit about options here for a second. This screenshot taken today on the spiders, there's a one day, a three day, a six day, an eight day, a 10 day, you know, set, hut, hike. <laughs> Look how many expirations there are, okay? That's pretty daunting. We tell you exactly what expiration to use, okay? We tell you exactly again what volatility you should seek out, okay? What should be the delta of the option that I buy? We tell you exactly what delta to buy. You mess that up, you're dead. You're already dead. You don't know it. You got to know the Delta. You people, some people like, what is Delta? Delta people go, is the rate of change of the option for every dollar move in the stock. Delta is everything. Okay. And Delta, it changes. It actually changes on a day-to-day -day basis what Delta you're supposed to trade. Okay. What market factors do I look at before entering into an intraday option position? Can I do this in an IRA or retirement account? Absolutely. I can even show you how to circumnavigate the day trading margin regulations. That's always a fun one. How do I build the trade? Some people are like, I know how to build it. I buy it. <laughs> okay. What's the right amount of risk for you? Should I do one contract? Should I do two contracts? 
Okay, I have a million dollars in my account. Maybe I should be doing 50 contracts. You got to know, you got to scale this thing right. Let me show you what we do here at Theotrade. Theotrade creates recipes in trading. Okay, when I say recipes in trading, everybody gets thrown by like the idea of a recipe. It's a checklist. Okay, it's a pre-flight checklist. You get into an aircraft. By the way, anybody remember an aircraft? That's the thing where we used to be able to go places. But if you've been in an aircraft, me, I flew all over the world for Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade for 15 years. When I say I flew all over the world, I literally flew all over the world. I opened up an office in uh, Australia. I opened up an office in Singapore. I was uh, I was a road monkey. Yeah, I was a road monkey. I loved it. 15 years, unmarried at the time. All that came to a crashing halt. No, not because of coronavirus, but because of children. What we do is we create recipes. Okay, you get into an aircraft, the pilot goes through a pre-flight and they literally go check one, check two, check three. You got a pilot that walks down the stairs outside in freezing cold in Chicago. Okay, and they're poking around the outside of the aircraft. And I'm like, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. They're methodical and you need to be too. That's exactly what we do here. That's what really differentiates our trading and our capabilities. Okay, would you like to learn how to create consistent intraday strategies and setups the right way? Let's actually get to some of that checklist. Like what does criteria, okay? Checklists are criteria. When I say criteria, it's gotta make the grade. Like it's got to work. You gotta look at criteria as going through like a sand sifter and all you're left with at the end is the good stuff, right? Trading, it's all about answering the what ifs. What might be a good stock or ETF candidate for an intraday trade? What's the correct options expiration cycle to lower my risk? How much capital do I commit to intraday trades? What strike options do I buy? How about the day trading margin restriction and growing a small account? What should my allocation be? That's what we do here. We build those recipes, definitive criteria, checklists for each strategy, each unique variable you're going to encounter. Okay. We have the answer to the questions. What's the right probability for my trade? How many option contracts? We'll give you again, when do I close the trade? What, you know, what if the market sells off big? What's the correct return for the strategy? If the market rallies massively, can I fix a losing trade? People, this business is about, it's about the how, it's about the when, it's about the why, it's about what price. And it's just the beginning of the variables you're gonna face on getting in and then more importantly, getting out of these strategies. You name a variable, we build full flow, like flow charts. Market goes up, the return is X. This is when I get out. Market goes down, this is what I do. How do I create you know, a probability checklist? All of it. Listen, I recognize that you can read what an option is. You can go Google right now what an option is. You're gonna get 10,000 different pages that are gonna tell you what an option is. You might even know how to build an intraday options trade. In fact, I'm gonna suggest that many of you are trading right now without a checklist. But that's what we do here. You need Theotrade's recipe for success, okay? 20 years plus trading experience, that's just me. I had access to client order flow for over 15 years, literally viewed and studied millions of trading accounts and I ran education Okay, for Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade for 15 years. We had the largest option order flow in the industry. We know precisely what to look for. We know exactly what option you select, uh, should select, the percentage gains, that's what this is about. It's about criteria. Because criteria is your recipe for success. The following strategy and the corresponding criteria just requires the utmost attention to detail. Okay, we literally spent years fine tuning this trade setup, okay, and this criteria. When we approach the section on criteria, you follow the steps to build a trade. We have a full blown four hour course available on this and it's available immediately. This is a course where we actually had to record it, cut, record more, edit, okay? The four hour course, it's available immediately the class the slide deck that includes entry and exit criteria the checklist is available immediately for download and the course it's archived 24 7 and you have accessibility to the class okay not only like you, you can access theotrade.com but here at theotrade we actually built our own 
mobile applications for both iOS and Android so that you can download the class and you can watch it on your mobile device. You can watch it on your tablet. You can watch it, okay, at your leisure without even having to be internet connected. The class, okay, is $497. Now, again, it's four hours. It's intense. Stop right there for a second. Many of you, okay, and I'm going to actually go through the curriculum for the class and tell you a little bit more about the class here in a second. Many of you, we recognize here at Theotrade, have been two other classes out there. I'm just kind of curious. So there's just shy of uh, 800 people plus on tonight. How many of you, okay, have actually been to some class in some way, shape, or form at some education firm? Because before I go any further, and I, you know, I throw out a price, that's $497. And immediately people think to themselves, oh, here comes another class for 500 bucks. That's not what we do here at Theotrade. And I don't ever want you to think that that's what we do here at Theotrade, okay? Theotrade does not go out and sell a la carte classes. We don't go out there and sell you a class for 500 bucks. And we are gonna provide, okay, a few little incentives in here, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we trade with you, okay? We will support you in every way, shape, or form. You can actually talk to us directly through our chat rooms. You can talk to us directly through emails. You can bounce trade ideas off of us. You can follow our trades, okay? All of this is part of Theotrade. We are not about selling you a class for 500 bucks, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you what happens in this industry, in education. Listen, I've been around, okay? I've been around the markets since 98. But I started going out and teaching classes all the way back in 2001. And what I saw for years, okay, somebody sells you a class for 500 bucks, then they sell you an indicator for 500 bucks, okay? And there's your indicator, that's your charts. Then you have to take a class for 500 bucks to learn how to actually use the indicator, right? And before you know it, don't worry about it, there's another class, okay? That's not what we do here. And I don't ever want you to think it is. Listen, we've been through the gauntlet. We've been through everything. I've seen everything, okay? After 15 years of watching all these classes and stuff, why do you think I left TD Ameritrade other than the regulators and we started Theotrade? We started it, okay? Because we're like, this is enough. There's so much stuff out there. We support clientele from absolutely from A to Z. We will take you through the process of not only learning how to do this from novice to expert, we will actually support you, okay, through that process every single step of the way. And I stress that to each and every one of you right now, this is not about another class for $497. Now, with that, we are going to provide ample bonuses tonight. Stick with me, okay, for the next 10 minutes, and I will take you through what I mean by support. It's not a four-hour class that you just go through, okay? It's a four hour class that you go through. By the way, we ramp you up before going to this class. We get you ready for it. Then you can actually join us and trade live. Then you can email us. You can actually bounce ideas off of us live in the chat room. Okay, all of it is going to be encompassed inside of Theotrade, all right? This is like the one-stop shop. If you wanna trade, if you wanna invest, okay? This is the place to do it. Now bear with me for a moment. As I said, we're gonna provide a couple of bonuses this evening, okay? Before I get there, I'll actually wanna take you through the curriculum for the class. When I say the curriculum, this is actually what we teach in the four hour class. First, we go, how to create intraday trades that put probabilities on your side, always minimize your risk, maximize returns, how to analyze the markets. This is more the quantitative, like look at this, okay? That's the quants guide. The option setups with detailed step-by-step. -step. This is actually selecting the right option. Okay, how the market provides predictable or manipulated ranges. This is actually talking about expected move. Okay, little known market insights into what drives markets into one direction. This, okay, this is actually some market maker insights over here, the tools and strategies for analyzing market conditions. Okay, so you have confidence every single day, how to minimize risk and maximize returns like never before. Really specific in like, really, I get super specific insights here beyond any classes that are available out there. We go really in depth, okay? Then we go how you can generate returns intraday with a small account or retirement account, minimal options experience, which stocks and indices make the best candidates, which strikes expiration period, okay, to select for the highest probability. 
all right? When to open, when's the best time to close your intraday trades? What market correlations to watch intraday so you can manage your swing or long-term investments, okay? Why intraday trading does not mean that you need to be glued to your screen all day. And what are the best times for the setups for intraday trade? Perfect for traders who can't necessarily watch markets all day. Like I stress to you, the curriculum in here is that's what the class is about. It's taking you through step by step through the logic, okay, the criteria and how to get in and out of these trades. Listen, what our members are saying, I wanted to share you uh, an email that came in literally today and then I'm going to show you some of the bonuses. This is today. This is my response to him. But uh, the email starts like this. This is from Ken. Apologize. I blurred out his last name. That's my last name. Okay, so uh, this is me responding today. His email actually came in yesterday. Woohoo! Thank you, Don. Uh, I am never sure of trades, okay, that are new to me that I structure myself. This is great to hear, okay? Not to brag, but this is due to you and your magnificent team, okay? I am up this year $1.67 million in profit, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, Ken, Ken actually trades big. I've known Ken quite a while. Uh, yes. I'm going to pull a big chunk out of this, you know, out of my wife's account. Plus, I'm going to give my granddaughter $50,000 to work with with her master's degree. Thanks to all of you. Uh, I will let you know how the trade goes. Okay. I need to check the chart on the uh, Japan ETF. Thank you again, the blank family. So I was pretty appreciative of that one. And I wanted to include it in tonight's, uh, tonight's presentation over here because um, it's, it's kind of a rare, it's an anomaly, but uh uh, $1.67 million this particular gentleman is up and he does trade big uh, and he trades very, okay, very actively on an intraday basis. And our conversation was in very large part about the structure of an intraday trade, okay? Now, you want a bonus. Listen, as I was saying a moment ago, Theo trade, we go beyond one class or one indicator. Like, we get it. You want everything. You want everything to trade. You want everything to invest. You want all the indicators. You want it at one place. You want it at one price. That's exactly what we do. Here at TheoTrade, here's some of the bonuses we offer. Okay. Again, we don't go out and sell one class. We support you in every step of the way. The first bonus. Okay. And the first bonus here, we give you access okay, to every trading class, over 94 trading classes that we've done here at TheoTrade. There are 94 trading classes that we've done. We give you access from day one. Now, listen carefully, okay? You came here tonight for consistent intraday strategies and setups. You could buy the class for $497. That's not what we do. We give you access to everything that we've done, okay? Here's just a smattering of some of the classes we've done. Guide to small account growth in outspreads. Guide to surviving and thriving extreme volatility. Volatility back spreads. Guide to small account growth with in out spreads. Guide to uh, small account growth black book spreads. How to collect income being short. The next uh, big short, this is the risk twist spread. Ooh, by the way, the risk twist spread, that's another word for infinity spread. The infinity spread class is in here. Guide to selling high probability spreads, iron up. That's iron condors, selling premium, minimizing risk, covered calls for consistent income, essential skills for consistency in trading class, the top 10 skills for growing a small account, pairs trading. People, I'm just hitting the surface over here. I just wanted to read to you a couple of the classes. You have access, okay, here at TheoTrade tonight to every class that we've done since inception. And why do we do this? Because we want to show you, we're not about selling classes a la carte. We're literally giving you access to over $9,000 plus in classes alone. You know, quite frankly, I don't think that number even does it, okay? You pay $497, you get access to everything that we've done. You're like, well, why do you guys do that? This is the only thing to do, right? You know, consistent intraday strategies, that's great. It's an unbelievable class. By the way, this is one of my most, you know, uh, sought after classes. But you need some background. Like, we got to get you ramped up. We got to get you, like, to the start here, okay? It's not fair just to sell you a class and be like, give you a little pat on the tush and be like, you go for it, man. You go. That's wrong. It, it just is, okay? So we give you access to everything. And that's why we built this. We built the Netflix, literally. It's like Netflix for trading. You name a genre of trade. We got a class on it. There's one other aspect here, okay? You know the other big aspect? Those 94 classes? I didn't do all of the 94 classes, okay? This is not the Don Kaufman show. Here are the Theo Trade instructors. First and foremost on the list, we have Jeff Bierman, okay? He's an analyst trader, and he's the former 
chief market technician for TD Ameritrade. By the way, we call him Professor Bierman because he's a professor of finance at Loyola. Um, this is actually, Jeff is kicking off his first semester. He is now actually a graduate student professor at uh, Loyola. So uh, Jeff, you can pay $42,000 a year do you hear Jeff at Loyola in Chicago? I'm sure that some of you who actually, uh, that might be your alma mater, uh, Loyola. But uh, Jeff, I think everybody kind of owes him a little bit of a debt of gratitude as well. If you've ever been on the platform Thinkorswim, Jeff built like over half the charting studies on Thinkorswim. Next in the list, Matt Williamson. Matt Williamson, he's another one of our option geeks. He's an option strategist, but specifically, Matt is into market neutrality. He likes to sell premium way outside, okay, and manage the risk. Next in the list, Corey Rosenblum. He's our senior strategist and resident swing trader. Corey is somebody you want to get to know really well. If you were an intraday trader, okay, Corey, he's going to be all over it. He actually teaches like trend day models and so forth. The insights that he is going to give you to intraday trade, okay, are going to be phenomenal. And again, some of those 94 courses are Corey's. Next in the list, this is Brandon Chapman. This is a CMT, macroeconomics, economic, uh, macroeconomics, technicals, and fundamentals. Oh, one thing, CMT. A lot of people don't know what CMT is. Anybody know the designation of CMT? So CMT, it's extraordinarily difficult test, okay? And there are very, very few CMTs in this industry, okay? Brandon's a CMT. Corey is a CMT. Jeff Bierman is actually a CMT. There's only a few thousand CMTs out there. We actually have three of them on our crew. By the way, Brandon Chapman, um, he actually also came from none other than uh, TD Ameritrade. Brandon, he wrote the educational books at TD Ameritrade. Um, Oh, going back a couple of years now, there was a course that TD Ameritrade used to sell. Some of you probably took this course. The course was 18 months long, okay? And the course cost $24,000. So Brandon actually wrote, okay, almost the entire course curriculum for an 18-month course that cost $24,000. Again, it was a company that was owned by TD Ameritrade. So Brandon and I obviously met at TD Ameritrade because I was running part of the education division. Brandon was actually writing the course curriculums over here. Brandon and myself will tell you what we do here at Theotrade for $497 just smokes what we used to do for $24,000. 18 months and $24,000 is insane. It's just insane. Okay, we do, we do more than that for $497. Bucks. Next on the list, Steve Slim Miller. It's a 43-year veteran stock options and futures trader. I actually grew up around Slim. I've known Slim literally since I'm a kid. Um, the guy's phenomenal. The guy has forgotten more about trading than a lot of people will ever know. Uh, he was actually one of the very first traders ever on the Chicago Board Options Exchange starting in 1973. Slim uh, semi-retired, but we pulled him back in to do quite a bit of technical analysis work and cyclical analysis work for us. Everybody, if you haven't noticed, has their own genre of trade. Last but definitely not least, Tony Rago. I put a huge, huge amount of emphasis into Tony. Tony is, okay, specifically and only, he trades NASDAQ futures on an intraday basis. Tony trades, okay, with literally hundreds of setups every single day in our chat room. It's all he does all day, just calls out trades, calls out trades, calls out trades. People say, you guys trade live? Hundreds of setups throughout the course of any given trading session, okay? So again, your first bonus this evening, and that's, that's the first bonus, you have access to all of our trading classes. And everybody on this list, okay, has got classes in there. The next bonus on here, we will give you an all access Theotrade VIP membership pass free. What that amounts to, we're actually giving you three months access, okay, to Theostream. Uh, what's that? Okay. Well, you're gonna have some time now to watch all 94 classes. We also give you access to our live trading chat room, okay? Listen, there's a lot of places out there that will charge you $200 a month to attend a chat room. Then they charge you $500 for a class and $500 for an indicator. We do everything, okay? We give you access for three months. We give you access to our chat room. We broadcast six hours a day. Our traders provide real trade ideas, real-time market insights, and real-time market analysis. We also do text and push notification of trade ideas. When I say text and push notification, this, 
okay? You have to have a mobile device for it. If you have a mobile device, you get our trades pushed to you several times a week. We have five distinct trading portfolios. We have daily coaching sessions, okay? When I say coaching sessions, this is continuing education. This is predominantly done by none other than Professor Bierman. Who better to do it than a professor of finance from Loyola? Timely topics and stocks, options and futures. And our instructors, and I probably put the most weight into this, and I started with this tonight, we actually answer emails, okay? People, you got to understand, all right? You pay $497. You get access to every class we've done. You get access to every coaching session we've ever done. You get access to our chat room. All of this is recorded. All of it can be played back, okay? At any time, at your leisure. You don't have to sit there for six hours a day. Why? Because we text and push out the trade ideas to you. There's different trading portfolios. I even do weekly videos updating you on stuff. But to kind of ice it, for 497 bucks, you can email us. You can email us. And I want to be something very clear about this. When you email us, you can ask us specific trade-related questions. You don't have to come in here to Theo Trade and be like, um, so my sister's friend owns a little bit of Apple, and she's thinking of getting out. I don't want to hear any of that. If you got a position, you tell me what the position is, okay? I'll tell you if I like it, love it, hate it, okay? Listen, at Theo Trade, most of us came from the brokerage side of the business, the market-making side of the business, okay? Jeff Bierman was even a hedge fund manager for a period of time, okay? We get it. We can answer emails, okay? We understand that you're trading live, and we're ready to actually answer those questions for you, all right? We're not going to leave you hanging out there. Fire us questions. That alone, that alone is worth $497, so we say access to, you know, thousand dollars support trades and insight, the emailing us. If I can save your butt one time in the next three months, you think it's worth it? Okay. Unequivocally. And you can, you can fire any question you wanted us. Next, we give you access to 59 proprietary indicators and scans. This is the stuff that we use to trade auto expected move gravity points, Theo trade RSI Quantix. I'm giving you this in a few moments. Okay, Quantix, we're actually going to give to you in a moment. NQ levels, next generation squeezing indicator, you know, uh, position tracker, IV rank, and Theo Quant, unusual put options activity, sizzle index, okay, SPX expected move, which is huge. There's 59 indicators. So you don't have to go out there and buy indicators and then take a class to learn how to use the indicators. People, we give you everything. It's access to another $1,800 in indicators and scans alone, okay? Those are the two bonuses tonight. In addition to it, yes, there's one more. So bear with me. In addition to it, okay, we have a class coming. That class, it's Tony Rago, and it's intraday trading. People wait all year for this guy to do a class because I'm going to tell you right now, he only does one class a year. That is it, okay? Rago, one class a year. It's coming. It's coming! Saturday, August 8th. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Time. The course will be archived immediately. It's one of the most highly sought after courses because Tony is by far the most active trader. It's intraday trading with NASDAQ futures. Now, I know it's futures and you're like, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. We now have what are called micro futures. There's even a new exchange out there called the small exchange that we partner with so you can trade small, okay? This class is just in addition to everything. And I'm like, why, why are you guys doing a class in addition to it? Because the class is coming and that is an unbelievable bonus. Because if you're into intraday trading and you want to trade okay, options on an intraday basis, you got to check out what Rago does. It's completely different than anything you've ever seen before Okay, with futures. The insight alone, even if you don't use futures and you have no intention of trading futures, the insights that this guy is going to provide, okay, on an intraday basis, okay, they're unparalleled anywhere. And I put a huge amount into him because, Tony, it's the best we got in terms of futures. When I say us, this is the best we got in the whole industry, okay? I found Tony Rago before I even left TD Ameritrade. I knew who was going to work at Theo Trade before I left TD Ameritrade. Why? Because I watched this guy trade from the other side for a long time. Look at his account and be like, what is this guy doing? It's phenomenal. We had some friends in common, called Tony's one of the first guys I called 
after I left TD Ameritrade, put him to work. He does one class for us a year. You want to know why he does one class a year? Because the only thing that Tony ever does is trades NASDAQ futures. He doesn't do anything else. Okay. He's done it for, for 15 years that he's traded futures. He spent a fortune working through this system. By the way, here's the curriculum for the class. Again, the class is this Saturday. It's a proven formula for trading. Okay. The NASDAQ futures intraday detailed step-by-step -step entry and exit, how to build your trading plan so you know how many handles, handles or points you're able to make each day, how to control your risk. His entire strategy is about getting risk out of the trade using key NASDAQ levels, okay? How to use little known key NASDAQ levels so you know exactly when to buy, exactly when to sell. A consistent day trading setup in the NASDAQ futures so you could be long or short, generate daily returns, okay? Day trading NASDAQ futures, it's perfect for anyone that wants to day trade anytime. This is something you could tune into for 20 or 30 minutes, scalp a couple of points out and be done, all right? We call them handles, all right? How to minimize your risk and maximize returns, all right? It's, again, the insights in this class are phenomenal. And I put huge weight into other traders, but Tony on an intraday basis is an animal out there. Why day traders with minimal futures experience can trade this. And they can do that now because we have micro futures. I mean, have you guys seen, okay, have you seen the NASDAQ lately? If this, by the way, this is, this is a, uh, it's a 30 day, one hour. This thing is Mr. Toad's wild ride. I call it the bidless beast. It's been insane. And I wanted to show you what our members are saying. This is about Tony. Okay. It's not about me. This is about Tony. This is how many handles they're booking. That, by the way, that's the micro NQ, 22 handles. That means 22 points, okay? One point, this is plus 10 on two contracts, right? One point is worth $20. So if you made 10, 10 handles, okay, that's $200 times two contracts, so that's 400 bucks. And just do some math. This is uh, two trades plus 26, okay? Look, plus five on the scalp, okay? Plus 22 on four trades. Here's a huge one, Foghorn. Four trades plus 122. That's 122 times $20, right? That's what a NASDAQ future is worth, okay? Super Mario. Tim, the, uh, the beauty of Tony's methodology, it's genius, okay? Here's another page of it. My best day ever, plus 88 in the funded account and plus 52 in the newbie combined account, okay? <laughs> I might not trade now tomorrow, okay? Uh, here's another Tony, all right? Plus 26 handles over here. Alan, I'm done. Six trades so far, four shorts, two longs plus 224. This guy, Super Mario, is an, he's a phenomenal trader in there. He's actually been a client here at Theo Trade almost since the very beginning. Karen got plus five and plus 10. Sweet Bobby, day done. That basically means he's done for the day, plus 42, right? Listen, Theo Trade, what we do here, we just include everything you're going to need to invest and trade. If you want to go out there and you want to invest, you just want to buy some stock, we have classes in that. You want to trade actively? We got classes on that. You want to scalp all day long? This, that's what we do. We got classes. We got coaching. We got email access to the instructors. We got live trading chat rooms, live trades, indicators, scans. It's everything you're going to need to succeed. And as I said, the, the O trade, we built the Netflix for traders. Okay. I mean, you name a genre of trade and we've got a class on it. Tonight, it's $297 for three months. Okay, why do we do that? And I want to make something clear before I go any further because somebody already asked it in the room. Okay, it's $297 tonight for three months. It includes the following. Before I go any further, the $297, this is a one-time fee. Okay, this is not a membership. It is a one-time fee of $297. After three months, if you want to do it again, it's 297 bucks. After three months, listen, you guys get it. We don't do memberships anymore, okay? We have 6,000, we had now over 6,000 clientele on Theo Trade. Somebody's like, that's huge. How'd you get that many people? Because it's 300 bucks for three months and we give you access to everything, okay? It's the right model if you want to learn this business because we are not about pumping classes to you. We are not about pumping indicators to you, okay? We are focused solely on education. That's what we do here. Listen, this is everything, okay, that includes tonight. You can go right now, right here to theotrade.com forward slash day. So it's theotrade.com forward slash day. 
That's D is in Don, A is in Apple, Y is in yes. Okay. It's theotrade.com forward slash day. We give you access to consistent intr uh, intraday strategies and setups class. The archive is available immediately. We give you access to over, by the way, it's not 93 classes anymore. Now it's 94 classes, soon to be 95 classes. Okay. All 94 classes are available immediately. New monthly classes. Guess what? With the new monthly class? Yeah, the next one is this Saturday, August 8th. If you cannot make it live, I'm telling you, try to make it live. Because Tony is phenomenal. But if you can't make it live, we get it. It'll be archived immediately. Okay? We broadcast live six hours a day. We have a full-on chat room. I'll show you in a minute. Indicators, 59 proprietary indicators and scans, text and push notification on trade ideas, five separate portfolios, daily coaching sessions, timely topics, stocks, options, futures, and you can email us. That's why I say go to theotrade.com forward slash day. I'm not done. I promise I'm going to answer your questions here in just a moment. Okay. Here, I wanted you to see this, what our members are saying. All right. This one actually comes from Brian. This is an older email. But I wanted to specifically bring this email into scope because it was on March 16th, which was the, almost the absolute bottom. It says Don, wow. I want to thank you again. Say thank you. All right. I want to. I want to again say thank you. Okay, for what you've taught me in the last two and a half years. I bought into what you talk about a bit, risk twist spreads and duration positions and started to trade options almost a year ago. I missed out on the last of the market move up. But at the moment, my IRA is up 14.8% for the year. The timeout. This guy's actually up 14% in an IRA, okay, on the year. And it's March 16th, in the middle of the biggest crash, okay, since what? 1929, 1930. This guy's actually up 14%. That's all I need to see. What I've invested in Theotrade, okay, has been so worth the money. Thank you, Brian. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. Now, everything I showed you tonight, I'll make this even easier. We'll do a riskless trade. Okay. Tonight, Theo trade is completely riskless trade. We want to make sure that you guys understand that everybody that comes here at Theo trade, we want you to be happy. Okay. We have 6,000, over 6,000 people here now. And we want people, okay, that want to be here. We don't want any issues. Okay. Of any kind, we give you a money back guarantee and we do this. Okay, because as I said, we want you to be satisfied. Listen, the way this works, everything you need to start trading from novice to expert. In fact, I think at this point, okay, when I say from like novice to expert, we here, okay, have actually built tools to get you ramped up into this. When I say we built tools, this is actually a start here menu. Start here, options 101, options 201. I'm going to show you this in a minute because if we say we'll teach you from absolute novice to expert in here no matter how deep you want to go believe me the rabbit hole gets deep here at theo trade okay we'll give you a bit of a money back guarantee and we do this as i said because we want everybody here to be satisfied by the way we do not okay detail or you know have to put any you know parentheses around like what satisfied is we don't do that listen trade with us over the next three months right look you're paying $297 for the next three months, okay? If you're not completely satisfied, email support at theotrade.com. Provide us the details of your trades. Receive a full refund. Listen, there's only real one stipulation in here. Here's the stipulation, okay? You pay the $297. If you're not happy, we give you your money back, but you have to trade. That's why, why am I doing this? Why do you have to actually trade? You have to trade because we don't want somebody that comes here and just watches every single video, okay? and then gets the $297 back. All you gotta do in the next three months, do 10 trades using any of our strategies and any of our criteria in the next three months. Your initial account value has to be $2,000, okay? You must follow our criteria <laughs> and they have to be real trades. This ain't paper trading, people, okay? If you trade and you're going to learn this business, if you do 10 trades, if you're not happy, Okay, we'll give you $297 back. It could not be easier. The reason we do this, we don't want to take 200, it's 297 bucks, first of all. Okay, this is not like 2,000 or $5,000 like class. And people are shocked when we do this for 297 bucks. You know why we do it for 297 bucks? Because we knew when we built this, 
it would take us a couple years to get a lot of members. But after we have like, you know, I remember saying this about five years ago, I go, after we have like 50 classes, no one can touch us, okay? Now we have over 6,000 members here. We can charge $297 for three months, okay? Why? Because no one can touch us in terms of size, magnitude, right? But I'm adamant when I say, we want you happy, okay? But you gotta trade with us. You can't just like come here and just like, oh, I want my $297 back. You gotta trade, it's 10 trades. That's it, that's that's the only stipulations that we have on it. And I hope that that's fair. Um, listen, get into Theo Trade now. There are 30 riskless spots available tonight. We limit the number of riskless spots available. Why? Because I have to go through 10 trades, okay? I got to go through and reconcile 10 trades, and I do most of this myself, okay? 30 people max tonight. That's that's it. I can't, you know, I can't reconcile 500 different trades, but it's all right. There's, you know... It's just over 800 people on right now. It's fine. I'll give you 30 spots on the riskless deal. And it's a matter of trade size. Again, we trade live. We also give you unlimited email mentoring. Now, we're constantly bringing on new instructors. As you saw a moment ago, we have seven instructors. We're in the midst right now of actually ramping back up. There's going to be more instructors here, more classes, more trades. Listen, send us your trades. The $297, the riskless offer, it's never been available before with consistent intraday strategies and setups in addition to the trading NASDAQ futures class. Because tonight, again, this includes literally both and that riskless offer has never been for both intraday classes that we offer here. And again, the intraday trading with NASDAQ futures class, it's live. And as I said, I put a tremendous amount of weight into Tony Rago. The 30 spots, okay, I will let you know when the 30 spots are completely filled. Uh, I will actually literally read off names to make sure that those of you that want into the 30 spots got into the 30 spots. Um, I'm gonna answer some questions here momentarily. By the way, this is from Todd uh, Summerall. It says, uh, hi, Dom. I don't know if you remember me. I actually do remember him, but I emailed you a few weeks ago and you told me my Delta was uh, positive a couple thousand or more. You told me to smash it or I was gonna be in trouble. I smashed it. You saved my account. I just want to thank you. For your information, before Theo, I had no clue about Portfolio Delta. Big hearty thanks to you and all of your team. My finances would have been a goner without your advice. Okay, you can use this if you want. By the way, thank you very much, Todd. I will. <laughs> uh, I wanted to share that with you. And the reason I wanted to share it with you, because this is where I'm telling you, you can email us and we will give you feedback. This is a, this is a gentleman that I said, smash your position. Okay. Or you're, you know, dead man walking kind of thing. And uh, he did. And it actually saved his entire account. Uh, this is uh, everything you get access to today for $297. So uh, I apologize. I have the wrong, uh, the wrong name, obviously, up here. This is the intraday course. Okay. The first bonus is three months access to Theotrade VIP. All right. We have daily trading, six hours a day. Everything's archived, email trade ideas. Okay. In fact, we don't email the trade ideas anymore. Apologize on that. Now we just do text and push notification. Um, when you're enrolling, which I'll mention a moment ago, put your phone number in and that'll actually sign you up automatically for the text, right? We have daily coaching, you know, sessions with live support, daily coaching sessions, phenomenal. Every single day for an hour a day, it's a brand new topic in there, okay? We actually have, what, three months unlimited access to TheoStream. It is now going to be, 94 classes, day trading, swing trading, technical trading, beginner options trading, advanced trading. And of course, the final bonus on here, it's a live class. This is actually intraday trading with NASDAQ futures. If you guys would right now, cruise over to theotrade.com forward slash day, because I, I want to take you there for just a moment. And uh, as we actually go to theotrade.com forward slash day, I'm going to show you why I'm going to take you over here. This is where the indicator that I promised tonight would be found. Okay, and I'll come to that here in just a moment. Um, those of you that are enrolling, there's a few things that I, I want to make clear to you. Again, it's the consistent intraday strategies and setups class. Right after you enroll, okay, close that up. Right after you enroll tonight, we will send you a, an email with a password, we will also link you specifically to this class. Again, there are only 30 riskless spots left, okay? I will give you details about 
exactly how many spots are left as we go into that. I'm also going to answer your questions, okay, in the chat room here. The other aspect I wanted you to see on this particular page, we are here if you need questions, okay? You can chat with us through this system, but you can also chat with us directly in GoToWebinar. But I wanted you to see on here, again, the intraday trading class is Saturday, August 8th, 10 a.m. Eastern time. It's early on the Pacific. I get it. It's 7 a.m. Okay, we like to do classes early. In this case, we like to do the class on Saturday. You guys are absolutely going to love what Tony's going to do this Saturday. I'm actually kind of uh, kind of stoked for that particular class. Click Add to Cart. And I'm showing you why I'm clicking Add to Cart here. Okay, as you click Add to Cart, a few things that I wanted to remind you on. Um, one of them is which put your phone number in here. If your phone number is in there, okay, we will send you text messages automatically enroll you for the text messages. Don't worry about a million text messages. Okay. We send out a few texts a week with trade ideas in there. It's not like hyperactive, like text, 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 a few trade ideas. The other aspect I wanted to remind people of, okay. And I think this is critically important. Okay. It's a one time payment, single payment of 297. You could break it down if you want to, if you want to do two payments of uh, $149, it's fine with us. But, but I want you to understand about this, it is not reoccurring. This is not like a gym membership. Like we don't charge you 297 and then charge you 297 like three months from now. Okay. We will email you and say, do you like Theo trade? If you do, would you like to continue, you know, another three months? Another three months is just $297. We don't play games. As I said, this is not like a gym membership. How do you get out of the gym membership? <gasps> you don't. Let me show you guys a little bit about Theo trade. And then I'll answer some uh, some generalized questions in here. By the way, on this page, and again, let me uh, let me throw up the web link because uh, some people are asking for it. It's theotrade.com. Again, theotrade.com forward slash day. So theotrade.com forward slash day. As you enroll, it will take me. Okay, as you enroll, it will take me about four or five minutes to actually see your enrollment on here. In fact, uh, I will start to uh, watch in real time and I will read off your name, okay, to assure you that you're in one of the 30 riskless spots. So uh, have, no, uh, have no fear on that front, okay, as you actually enroll for it. I can see it, but it does take me three or four minutes uh, and I will get to that. And again, I'm gonna answer all your questions here momentarily. On the bottom of this screen, if you scroll down, okay, this is where you can actually find, okay, the quantitative indicator for Thinkorswim. Uh, just scroll down to the bottom of the screen. Those of you that are enrolling right now, you need, you need not scroll down, okay? You don't have to scroll down if you're enrolling right now because you're going to get it on the on the website anyway. All right, um, let me show you a little bit about TheoTrade. So. This is TheoTrade. I guess the, the first thing I like to show people, this is the chat room. So this is actually what our uh, what our chat room happens to look like. And when I say what it looks like is up here, this is where we broadcast. So tomorrow morning, okay, live at 622. I start at 622 Pacific time. Um, I'm going to go live in the room. And uh, when I go live in the room, uh, you'll see my screen. You don't get to see my face. Uh, why? You don't want to see my face. You just want to see the screen. That's what matters, right? And then uh, this is actually where we broadcast. And then down below is the actual, it's the chat room, okay? So you can see, we're telling everybody, this is our status bar. Tony's class is coming up. Everybody, everybody is stoked about Tony's class. I'm telling you, like once a year, people look forward to this particular class. Um, anyway, as you scroll through the chat room, there are literally thousands and thousands of people in here every single day, right? So you can scroll through, you can actually see everybody's, um, everybody's trades in here, right? just kind of scrolling back through. There's a, um, uh, again, a tremendous, tremendous number of clientele that are chatting in here on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, from there, that's what the chat room actually looks like. From there, we go to the start here menu. People always say like, I'm a little newer to this. Where do I start? Well, we came up with this idea. It's called start here. This is absolute novice options 101, but I urge each and every one of you, the most experienced, of traders. Check out stuff like order execution part one, two, and three. You're like, well, why? Okay. This is, there's information in here on how to get better fills. You know, if like markets are a dollar ten, okay, 
by a dollar, for instance, 20, will actually teach you the most like effective way to carve the inside of these marketplaces. All right. I spent 15 years in the brokerage. I can tell you more about order routing than probably most people will ever know. And you will learn some of those proper order execution techniques in okay, this order execution part one, two, and three. So I urge you, even the most experienced traders are going to get a lot of knowledge out of this. But if you're brand new, start at options 101 and just keep on listening, people. I mean, listen, you got three months to go through this. It'll keep you off Netflix, keep you right here at Theotrade. Next on the uh, on the list over here, you want to see what some of the classes look like. OK, so this is under, you know, archives. There's a class archive. What is the class archive? It's where the 94 classes live. You know, we were talking about, you know, day trading classes and technical classes and option newbies. Here's a little bit like option strategy classes. OK, so uh, apparently I have to log out and log back in. Apologize for that. So um, when you uh, when you take a look at the classes, here we go. I'm going right to archives and going down to classes. Okay. When you take a look over here at option strategy classes here, these are all the different classes you're going to have access to literally tonight. Butterfly's guide to weekly returns, weekly options, you know, trading advantage, uh, how to collect income, being short, selling options for a living. Okay. Guide to maximum edge trading earnings, back spreads, volatility crash course, black book spreads, gamma irons, controlling risk. Okay maximum returns this is the infinity spread class that's also that's probably one of the more prolific classes that we've ever done here because this is the class that saw 1200 percent returns coming into the corona crash um this is just again that's just the option strategies classes that doesn't include like day trading classes again day trading classes yeah we have a few okay i'm telling you people you name a genre of trade and it's here last but not least everything on our site is searchable like we built like a Google for our own site. You type in something like in out, like for in out spreads, in out spreads is also another strategy we use. Every single session that we've ever done on in out spreads will populate in here. You name a trading topic, just type it into the search engine, you're good to go. All right, so I just wanted to go through a little bit of that. Uh, again, somebody came in here and they said, is this a membership? It's not a membership. You pay $297 one time, okay, that's it. All right, let me go. Let me go back over here and answer a couple of generalized questions for you. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash day. It's D is in Don, A is in Apple, Y is in yes. Theotrade.com forward slash day. Okay. Uh, oh, this is uh, this is actually from Jeff. Um, in fact, this one's a little bit more recent as well. July 16th. Thanks for your reply. Your email clarifies the confusion that I had. I would like to add, okay, that I've only been a part of Theotrade for a couple of weeks or so now but wanted to say thanks for creating something that absolutely destroys all the other monthly investor education services out there. You guys have nailed the simple yet brilliant formula of providing education for all styles of trading from the novice to the pro in small digestible bites on a daily basis through live trading. Thanks for all you do. It's from Jeff from uh, Toronto, Canada. So uh, I do appreciate that one as well. So theotrade.com forward slash day. Again, follow me to that link. That's where the cumulative and quantix indicator is located. Let me go in and answer a couple of your questions in here. And um, these are some generalized questions. I'm also here going to uh, read off a couple of names um, of some individuals as they are enrolling. So uh, bear with me here as I'm uh, actually trying to pick up some of the names. We have not yet hit the 30, but uh, we are getting relatively close already. So uh, bear with me here momentarily as I take you through a couple of these questions. So a um, few things answered. One of the first things people always ask, these are general questions, okay? They kind of ask me like, what do you uh, what do you need to get started? I, I kind of suggest you need a laptop and internet connection. You don't even need a laptop. You could probably just use like an iPad. Um, you should have at least an iPad or any type of Android device because you can trade off of those now and you can watch everything that we do can be watched now on a uh, on a mobile device. That's totally and completely fine with us, right? Um, the next thing everybody always asks, this is not a membership. We're not going to auto renew. We're not going to bill you again, which is that's, you know, listen, mentioned that like five times. Okay. We're now providing weekly spread video updates so you can follow 
all the moves that we do. We do this with infinity spreads. We do this with in-out spreads. This is for people that do not, again, this is for people that do not want to trade on an intraday basis. Uh, if you just want to trade kind of periodically, I do this video that just, hey, you can hop into this trade, hop into this trade. It's a real hands-off approach. Number four over here, we archive everything. We understand that not everyone can watch okay, live trading throughout every single session. So we archive it and we actually provide you access to TheoTrade Mobile so you can download the archives. Listen, you can watch the archives on any device you want, but one real cool thing about TheoTrade Mobile is that you can download it and watch it when you're offline, right? You can also speed up the archives like two times the speed, right? Add your cell phone number when enrolling, and I mentioned that earlier, to receive trade ideas, text messages, okay, and then download TheoTrade Mobile for push notifications. So number seven, you can email us anytime. I put so much weight into this because, you know, listen, you're a little nervous here, okay? It's a riskless trade. As I mentioned a moment ago, it's completely riskless. If you're not happy here, we'll give you, it's 297 bucks, okay? Seriously, it's 297 bucks, right? It's not gonna be the end of the world for anybody. We'd rather give you back $297 than have somebody that is that is not a happy camper, okay? But the point that I wanna make about emailing us anytime, if you are unhappy, if you're having a tough time with your position, email us, okay? If I can save you, all right, on just one question that pertains to the marketplace, it's gonna be worth, okay, a lot more than $297. I've had people email me, they're like, you just, you just saved my life savings. Okay, that's why I brought up some of those emails over there. I literally tell people like, smash the Delta, which means crush the portfolio right now. There's just too much risk. You know, you gotta understand, I will help you in deciphering some of that risk. And that's why I put so much into the, uh, into the email. By the way, we'll respond to emails within 24 hours. Don't email me with five minutes to the go or to the close on a Friday afternoon and be like, help, okay? By the way, nobody ever emails me all right, that doesn't need help. Everybody emails me, they're like, help me. That's how almost every email starts off. Okay, although I got an email literally yesterday, as I showed you guys, that gentleman made $1.67 million, okay? That's real, people. That's that's hefty out there. All these trades could be done inside of an IRA. I traded my IRA now with as little as $2,000 within the account. Okay, TheoTrade, we could help you get approved for options at all the major brokerage firms. Listen, if you're at a brokerage firm and they won't approve you for options, we can help you. We have relationships at all the major brokerage firms. The brokerage firms, okay, they all know us, right? We have 6,000 clients. Doesn't sound like a lot, but our clients, people, they trade. Listen, there are 30 riskless spots. I'm actually gonna name, I'm gonna name names right now. Listen, get results, take action, enroll for it, enroll for it now. Um, one last thing I wanted to bring up over here. Oh yeah, this one comes from uh, Chris on March 26th. I've learned more in the past uh, four weeks of managing and defending my portfolios than I've learned in my entire trading life. Nothing I've learned without, uh, would have been possible without having tuned into your teachings for the past two years. Also, my atomic hedge took a large sting out of my long-term IRA destruction. You clearly don't have to be a teacher, but thank you for doing so, right? So, I mean, I can go on and on and on and on. I'll just throw this up here. It's theotrade.com forward slash day. In fact, um, let me go ahead and uh, and pop this screen back up there and answer some of the questions directly out of the chat room. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash day. Um, before I jump into the questions, uh, this is the, the names thus far that are into the riskless spots. Um, I'm going to butcher the very first name. Pankaj, okay, from Pennsylvania. I apologize if I butchered your name, okay? Christine D. from Florida, Johnny L. from California, David C. from Florida, Michael, looks like I. from Colorado, Randall J. from Arizona, Paul S. from Idaho, Daniel S. from Illinois, uh, Mark H. from Kansas, Richard R. from Texas, Paul P. from California, James B. from North Carolina, James D. from Colorado, William A. from Massachusetts, Charles H. from Ohio, um, Monib S. from Washington, Okay, looks like uh, Leary M from Florida and Keith N from Colorado. Again, it takes me about four or five minutes to be able to see all of the uh, the names as they actually come uh, as they come through. 
uh, all right, let me uh, go back to some of the uh, some of the questions over here. So um, just general question. I love this one. What times are the morning and afternoon sessions? So we actually broadcast literally from bell to bell. The only break, okay, the only break, this is in Pacific time, is a 30-minute break from 10.30 to 11 Pacific time. And that break only occurs on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So uh, we don't take a break on Thursday, Friday. We trade straight through. So literally, we do, and everybody does an hour every day. So I do an hour. Okay, then Jeff Bierman does an hour, then Matt Williamson does an hour, okay, then Brandon Chapman does an hour, okay, then we change it up, Tony Rago does an hour, and last but not least, Corey Rosenblum, he's our closer. You got to close strong, we bring out Corey. So uh, that's how the, uh, the sessions actually run. The schedule is posted every single morning. I post the exact schedule into the chat room a multitude of times. Um, hmm. uh, Lewis actually said, how do we receive the trades if we're not in front of the screen? So we actually do text and push notification of trades if you're not in front of the screen. But we also have portfolios. You can glance the portfolios. So you don't necessarily have to be in front of the screens all day. Okay, the portfolios are updated periodically. Now we have different types and different trades and different styles for different folks. We get that some people are more investment grade. So we do duration stuff, which is real slow. Okay, and people but duration stuff, you know, we have to do a couple of trades every, every, you know, uh, every couple of months we do a few trades. Then we get a little bit more invasive, okay, which is where we actually trade on a, you know, week to week, month to month basis. And those trades will pop out to you on text message maybe a few times a week, okay. Then the people that actually want to trade intraday, those are the people that actually sit in the chat room throughout the course of the day. The more hyperactive traders, okay, do sit there throughout the course of the day. That's not everybody, okay? I'll tell you what. So there's there's 6,100 and some odd members right now at uh, at Theo Trade, and on a day to day, every morning when I kick off, we usually have okay about one third of the members live. So we're just we're averaging close to 2,000 people in the chat room at the opening bell. So you're like, well, where are the other 4,000 people? The other 4,000 people, they watch the classes, they do some of the trades, but they don't sit there all day long. You know, a lot of people, professionals, they've got jobs, you know. Uh, you know, it's actually more interesting that, I just said that uh, about 2,000 people on average, the last couple of months, ugh, we had one day, we had one day where there was over, okay, 5,000 people in our room at one time. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. And then I realized... <laughs> everybody's at home. They're not working. <laughs> and I was like, this is amazing. I was actually shocked. It was in late March that time. All right. Let me continue on over here. By the way, a few more names just came through. Uh, David G from New York, Glenn P from Canada, Zachary M from Georgia. Back to the questions. By the way, that you're all included in the riskless spots. There's a handful right now. I can't count this fast. There's a handful of riskless spots actually left. Okay. If the strategy is not directionally based, how do you decide how to use a call or put? Okay, the strategy itself on an intraday basis absolutely does have directional bias, okay? But the directional bias is, okay, tertiary. The most important thing, okay, the most important thing about this is that you understand that the logic of the trade comes first, the allocation comes second. We will in this class, we will absolutely in this class cover directional bias. That's what we use, that kind of quantitative ticks formula. That's what we actually use, okay, the relationships for. So hopefully that uh, that helps to some degree. And you'll see precisely that as you're going through the class. There's a section of the class that just covers options and what option to select. Then there's a section of the class that just covers predominantly what? The bias, okay? So the bias is in there as well. All right, um, going through here again, once again, uh, make sure everybody's good over here. Yeah, again, it's theotrade.com forward slash day. All right. Uh, is the expected move, uh, uh, is the expected move down? So the odds are against the bullish higher expected profit. Uh, Jeffrey, in this one, what it comes down to expected move. And again, I understand like the logic in here, when it comes down to the expected move here, here's the bottom line. The bullish versus the bearish. So I have tendency to do more bearish trades on an intraday basis than bullish. And it's just, it's an odds thing. On bearish days, the market will close down, okay, four times as hard, okay, 
as it would uh, prototypically rally. So on big down days, the market will actually move four times what it normally would on bullish days. And I'm a big quantitative guy. I'm a big statistician. So I urge that you understand, okay, just that, that piece of logic that taking the bearish trades, they may not pay off as often, but when they do pay off, okay, they are phenomenal. And it doesn't mean that I get bearish and bared up, you know, here and there, but I absolutely do take more bearish intraday trades in there looking for a move outside of expected as well. Um, all right, onward and upward over here. So, um, since these are intraday trades and not spreads, okay, do you risk exercise or assignment? There's absolutely Mike, there's absolutely no exercise or assignment. Um, but you do have to actually close the trade. <laughs> if the trade expires out of the money, it's worthless. But if the trade goes in the money, you do actually have to close the trade or you could actually risk uh, an assignment over there. So uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't mind telling you that. Got to be a little careful if, if you're trading something on expiration day. And you will see that from time to time, no question about it. Um, uh, <clears throat> oh, Robert actually said, do you wait? Until the open surge passes, or do you jump right into the open? Robert, it's totally dependent upon what the setup of the day happens to be. There are times where the marketplace or rally, it'll rip out of the gate, and I'll actually uh, step in and get short out of the gate and vice versa. And the big setup is what are the ticks looking like? What are the bonds looking like? What are the volatility futures looking like? It has nothing to do with what the S&P futures are doing or nothing to do with what the spiders are doing. It's all about the actual setup of the day. Okay. There's a point in time where, you know, you can, you can look at this marketplace and say like, Hey, wait a second, wait, wait a second. You know, everything looks so negative, except we just rallied out of the open. Let's actually sell into it. And those are some, uh, some decent setups in there. All right. Um, by the way, a couple, uh, a couple other people over here, Sean B from California. Okay. There's only a handful. Again, there's a handful of our 30 riskless spots left. I'm going to answer one or two more questions because I know I've gone way over in time over here. I uh, just wanted to make sure that we're good. By the way, again, it's theotrade.com forward slash day. D is in Don, A is in Apple, Y is in yes. Okay. Um, oh, Anthony said, how many intraday trades are you doing a week? So how many am I doing a week or everybody combined? Because we literally will trade hundreds of times okay, a, uh, a week. So me on the average week in the chat room, I usually do, there's usually two or three good setups. The last, the last probably two to three weeks, we've been pretty range bound. It hasn't been huge. I, uh, I hit a couple big ones in July, but, uh, for me specifically, yeah, I'm doing averaging like two or three, like setups a week. Uh, I took a shot today, kind of struck out a little bit uh, today. We'll get them back again. You got to look at this. When I say I struck out, it was, uh, I was down a whopping 20 cents on a, um, on a uh, spy put in uh, an early trade today. By the way, a couple of more William R from California. We just, that one just came through over here as well. So um, make sure everybody's got their questions answered in here. Uh, all right. So, um, Oh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to read a little bit of a longer one here and then we'll wrap up. So let's see if I fully understand what Don did with the spy trade. Here's an example. The spy was trading at 329 and I'm presuming, okay, that he used his probability scenario and figured out the spy might be moving lower. So he bought a 327 put and happened to be right in direction. I'm assuming, okay, that if he sensed the position would go the opposite direction, would he have closed the trade and taken a smaller loss? Okay. Actually, no, I would not have necessarily just closed the trade. Okay. So for the most part, the trades that I put on are not going to be heavily monitored on an intraday, on an intraday basis. I typically close uh, the trade very close to the close of the day. And you'll actually see precisely that logic in the class. Why am I not actively managing it? This is intraday trading. What I'm teaching in this class, it's intraday trading, but it's extraordinarily hands off. I open, I execute. Okay. And I let fly. Close to the end of the day, I actually close. And you, again, you'll see precisely why in the statistics of extremes of the marketplace. So with that, I want to make sure that everybody's comfortable. I got almost all the questions. Okay. Um, by the way, is the breath uh, AD paint bar indicator on the... Uh, yes, by the way, uh, Zach, that indicator is absolutely in there. By the way, every indicator that we use, there's never going to be an indicator that I won't give you. Okay. We have, you know, people that code indicators. There's never going to be an indicator 
that we will not provide to you here at Theotrade. Uh, and that's that's important. OK, so uh, please uh, understand that we're also really looking forward to, uh, to Tony Rago's class, obviously coming up this Saturday. Um, get a role for Theotrade. Listen, hop in the chat room first thing in the morning, pop in there, say hello. Uh, I'll start uh, speaking right at about 622 Pacific time in the morning. Questions that we can answer. We'll have all the instructors in there tomorrow morning to answer your questions because you're new. We totally get it. Again, go to Theotrade.com forward slash day. I want to thank everybody for joining us. This evening, ran a little bit over here. It was worthwhile. We got a lot of questions answered. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Bye-bye.